know me in other projects like Paimon and Genshin Impact or also Tatsumaki in One Punch Man um, and Somali and Somali in the Forest Spirit and many many more but point is today we are playing I the Somnium Files because I the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative which is the sequel to this game is coming out later this week so I'm playing through all of this so that way you guys who haven't seen it can know what's gonna happen when I stream the sequel, you know, next week. Um, but also for those of you that did play it before and just need a recap. So let's get started. Hello, everybody. Um, the premise of this game, that's a good question. The premise of this game is you are a detective named Date. You have a, um, uh, an uh, artificial intelligent eyeball in your left eye, in your left eye. Um, so one of your eyes is fake, and it helps you solve solve crimes. You're a part of, of a secret police force called a Abyss, where you actually get to um, 
go into people's dreams to find evidence of what may or may not have happened. Um, and basically, the start of this game, you, the detective, discover that a lady uh, is dead. She's dead, right? Um, and she has her right eye out of her face. It's just, or left eye? I don't remember. No, it's the left eye. Left eye, out of her face. Eyeball taken, and she's also dead. She was put on a merry-go-round, or a carousel, whatever you want to call it, and you find out that she was, um, her eye was definitely used to have an ice pick in it. That was what was used to remove her eye. And you find this little girl, Mizuki, nearby in in like in like locked in a closet in the carousel um with a bloody ice pick in her hand who's the woman that's dead that's mizuki's mother also mizuki is the child that you konami date has been taking care of for four years now because um her mother and her father said we can't take care of her you do it so you find Mizuki, a 12 year old, with a bloody ice pick in her hand and her mom is dead on that carousel. So it doesn't look good. Um, last time we played this game for, because yes, I've been doing it in a series. Um, last time we played, uh, we went through that whole process. We went into a Somnium with Mizuki, and then we discovered Iris, who is a pop idol and happens to be Mizuki's friend. We discover Ota, who is obsessed with um, Iris. Um, uh, we also discover that Mizuki's father is dead on a hook in the middle of the restaurant that he owns. And he also has his left eye removed. So now we're dealing with a serial killer for sure. Um, uh, and where we are now is that Iris, um, looked really suspicious for it. She was found walking around with, um, uh, with... Mizuki's dad, who happens to be her manager. As I said, she is an idol. She's an internet idol. Um, and uh, so we just, uh, and then all of a sudden, while we are thinking that Iris has something to do with this, we see a video pop up on, the, on Iris's stream where she is very much hurt and unconscious with her left eye out and a um, saw is about to saw her in half when Ota comes to the rescue, saves Iris. Iris is now in a coma in the hospital. Ota is awake and okay, but he is still injured. And Mizuki is sad because her dad and her mom are dead. And yeah, that's where we left off from last time. Let's continue. Ah! Also, if you're confused, um, I highly suggest watching my previous streams on this. I think there's two of them. Um, and yes, so uh, as you can see, I do have a Paimon tattoo. This is for the new game coming out. I have a Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. I really liked this style. Also, uh, eventually, this whole entire arm will be uh, basically a sleeve of stuff that in my like in my acting career that I felt like really. You no, know, surprisingly, oh. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm still under anesthesia, so I don't have any pain. All right, that's good. Ota, I'm sorry. You might to put recognize this on some of these voice actors, surgery, by the way, if you play Genshin Impact. Can you talk to us for a minute? I don't know why, but Ota seemed almost happy to answer. Well, maybe because he's on a whole bunch of drugs right now. Maybe it was the drugs. Oh, <laughs> I, I always say something and then I forget that like, oh, maybe it was the drugs. Oh, my, hold on. My bird just fell behind my TV. <laughs> bird, no. Oh, God damn it. Bird, why? Why must you? You're not supposed to be back there. That is not where you belong. Um, <laughs> so anyways, yeah, if you play Genshin Impact, you might recognize the voice actors in this game because um, the director for Genshin Impact was also the director on this game, Chris Fiella. When he, when he um, got the job to direct uh, um, Genshin Impact, he said, hey, Mihoyo, I just worked with all of these actors. You should give them auditions. So Zach Aguilar, uh, um, Erica, Erica Harlicker, me, um, 
Allegra Clark, Jackie Lastra, Sean Chiplock, um, Brad Venable, all of us uh, got auditions to be in Genshin Impact because the director really liked working with us in this game. So, yeah. Anyways, maybe it was the drugs, maybe it was the high um, from surviving a life or death situation. Or maybe it was because he saved Iris. Iris being the internet idol, for those of you that are coming in late. Yeah, sure. So, Ota is the one who is obsessed with Iris, a.k.a. Asa, a.k.a. Tessa. Her real name is Iris. She goes by Aset, which is her internet idol name, and then Tessa is Aset backwards, which is what her f super fans call her. Anyways, also the woman there, Boss, who is played by Allegra Clark, she is your boss. Her name is Boss, and she is your boss, just so that other people get up to date. So here we are. Um, we got a lot of things going on here. Equipment. Uh, we we have. Let's talk to Boss real fast. Why did you come here? I'm kind of interested in Ota. In me? You protected the woman you love. That's not easy to do. <laughs> I wanted to meet the brave little hero. Hero. Little. I'm. 24. He's also tiny. To me, you're still little. <laughs> he is actually tiny, though. Um, did you find any clues? If I did, I would have told you already. I'll leave this to you, Date. Television one Zulu zero. I know he is supposed to look 12, but he is 24. It's funny because Mizuki is an actual 12 year old in this game and she's taller than him. He's a short, I don't want to hey, say king, Date, but you know, whatever. I don't think I can sleep by myself tonight. Will you sleep with me? Why me? Oh, then that old woman over there is fine. Old? Old woman? <laughs> Um, did you hear about Iris? Her surgery Played was by Jackie successful, Lastra. right? Yeah, thanks to you. If you weren't there, Iris would have been in real trouble. I'm Tessa's biggest fan. Any fan would have done what I did. It's nothing special. It's as normal as garlic and ramen. Mm, garlic and ramen is super preference. good. Honestly... I'm a little bit scared of my new power. When I locked eyes with that polar bear, I saw him start shaking. He saw how strong I was and got scared, no doubt. Ota's body temperature is rising. He's lying. He's embellishing his story quite a bit. Uh, yeah. I think we can let that go today. Yeah, you're right. Um, so last time, um, before that video started, uh, Iris was looking super suspicious, remember? We were like, mm, this doesn't look good. And Ota, because he knew that Iris was looking suspicious and he's in love with Iris, uh, hit us over the head with a walk. And then when we went to chase after them, that's when the video started with Iris being unconscious and has her eyeball out of her head all that stuff so now it's really confusing on who the heck killed mizuki's mom and dad and then tried to kill iris it's crazy oh yeah you hit me over the head with that walk didn't you oh uh that was i thought i needed to protect tessa so isn't there something you want to say to me sorry I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. But you're not going to get a second chance. I won't do it again. I swear on Ganesha. You should swear to a god that's a little closer, kid. <laughs> Were you watching the stream? A big polar bear. Yes, I'm talking about who was inside. Did you see them? No. Whoever it was was probably wearing that costume to hide their identity. Press X to doubt, exactly. Um, I don't stream on Twitch anymore just because Twitch has a lot of weird things going on. 
with it. Uh, not to mention, access, I find, is a lot easier on YouTube for some people that are fans. Um, it just is. And then also, I don't have to put the video off from Twitch onto YouTube anymore. It's just much easier for me. I'm disabled. This is much easier to just deal with, you know. So, yeah. That's... Not to mention... Um, Sorry. Sarah Miller Cruz and Zach Aguilar and Eric Harlicker all stream on, Iris Twitch, on, on YouTube now too, and they're you my know friends. What happens so after that, right? I'll stick with them. Everything you built up here is going to come crashing down. <sighs> but I can't tell you. Why not? Calm down and think about it. The criminal who attacked Iris is still out there. Iris might have seen the criminal's face. Whoever did this might come back to kill her. <sighs> if you want to protect her, the fastest way is for us to catch this guy. But to do that, I need information. Okay. What is that thing? Remember when I told you about my day Saturday? I kind of lied a little. Oh, really? What did you lie about? When I got to Sunfish Pocket, I saw a sign that said the place was all rented out. That part is true. Okay. But after that, I said I went home, but I didn't. I was hanging out in Akihabara for a few hours. Is that when you bought your new phone? Yeah. Why did you hide that? Because something happened after. This must have been about 8.50. I was going to cross the intersection in Akiba, and I saw Mr. Okiura's car at the light. But when I got close, I saw Tessa driving it. Iris was driving it? Whoa! You surprised uh -oh. me! I'm more surprised than you are! Is something wrong? What do you mean? Hey, Tessa. Do you have a license? Oh, yeah, of course I do. Not have one. <laughs> then you shouldn't be driving. You don't have a license? Shh. Mr. Okiura asked me to run an errand. I had to borrow his car. Please don't tell anyone. Okay. You promise? Anything for you. Anything for you. After that, the light turned green and she drove off. Was Iris the only one in the car? Yeah, it was just her. That's what I meant by that thing. Mm. And idle driving without a license is a huge deal. So I kept quiet. So I think that's what Ota thinks Iris was really gonna get in trouble with, for was driving without a license. But uh, she's kind of in trouble for Saturday murder. at 6:15 p.m. Ota saw Iris and Renju together. They were leaving the Sunfish Pocket Building. Two and a half hours later, Ota witnessed Iris driving Renju's car. And Renju was dead by then. What are your thoughts? Renju was definitely dead really by then. Renju Iris. being Mizuki's dad. But consider the current circumstances. But Iris had her left yeah, eye. Yeah, now taken Iris out by has her left eye. Possibly the taken new out. Cyclops killer. <sighs> so many confusing things. By the way, I do know what happened. And I clicked if Ota had before. not reached her in time, she would have been killed. But I'm going along with the story. So if you know, if you know what the ending, try here? not to spoil it for others that are watching. Please and thank you. Okay, so we need to know what happened. I took the chocolate out of my pocket and showed it to Ota. Does this jog your memory? Oh, Nad. What? Do you know something about it? You don't have to show me the thermograph. It's written all over his face. Yep. Absolutely. You mean after hitting you with the walk? Yeah. 
Yes. Jerk. I took Tessa in the van and we ran away. I drove for a while, then we decided to take a breather. I parked the car at Femisto on Koshu. Mm -hmm. I told Tessa I was going to go in and buy something to drink. I got out of the car and I went inside. But then I heard Tessa screaming. Oh, to help! I ran out of the store as fast as I could. But the car was driving away! I looked around and I saw there was a car with its engine still on and... And so you stole that station car. station wagon, right? <laughs> yeah. Before I even realized what I was doing, I was behind the steering wheel. I didn't mean to steal it. I just needed to borrow it. The time was 10.33 p.m. Now we know why Ota stole the station wagon. I took the car, then drove out onto Koshu, mm -hmm. but I couldn't find the van anywhere. I searched for what felt like hours. You didn't contact the police. I thought after I hit you... Yeah, I don't think You shouldn't have worried about that. <laughs> but that's all that I was thinking at the time. I thought that if I called the cops, they'd arrest me. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was panicking. Clearly. And that's why I didn't realize it right away. Realize what? My phone. I left my new phone in the car. Why is that so important? Because the phone had GPS on it. If I looked it up, I would find the location of the van. Smart. Mm. So I drove as fast as I could to an internet cafe and looked Smart. it up. That's when I found out Sometimes my new phone Ota was at a, a warehouse near the water. You know the rest. Did you see me turn off the saw? Yeah, but everything after that was off screen. What happened? I honestly don't remember much. My mind went blank. I remember rushing the bear. That's actually a good question, Debo, uh, Debo Pop. Um, they asked, why is swearing such a taboo in anime dubbing? Some Japanese subs are riddled with strong language. I've actually questioned the same thing a lot of the time when I am in the booth. Um, we will be, and it will be an adult, like, it's not like it's a kid show. It's an adult show. There is swearing in it. And then we will get the dub, and it will not have any swears in it at all. Now, mind you, some of it is because of strictly, like, dubbing. We have to match flaps. And sometimes putting an extra swear word in there would make us not match the Japanese flaps at all. So, we omit it for that reason. But then the other reason being, like, there is this weird thing where even if it would fit in the flaps, they still try to stay away from cursing as much as possible in the dub. And I honestly don't understand that. I'm sure there is something that a writer in dub would be able to like explain why. I think it has to do with, um, uh, it might be cultural differences there. Culturally speaking, maybe those words are considered swear words, but in Japan, for some reason, it's not really looked down upon. I have no idea. That would definitely have to be more of a question to, to translators and um, dubbing writers than it would be for me. I'm just the actor. But just so you know, I always argue when I am in the booth and there is a swear word in the Japanese, I always argue that we should put a swear word in there. I try to swear as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm doing um, adult shows or, or shows that are like d uh, dubs that are meant for adults, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, um, I, I agree uh, that it should match. Uh, we should, if they're swearing as much, like, I don't know. It's, it's weird. Um, I, I do think some of it does have to do with ESRB uh, stuff being that like may, in Japan, it if you say what is the equivalent to the F word, maybe it, they rate it for teens. But in the United States, it, it, it would be rated for like um, 17 and up rather, or 18 and up, right? So, you know, again, I don't really know that side. That's a definitely a production question um, um, rather than me. I'm the actor, so I don't really know how that goes on their end. But again, I always fight for as many swear words as possible. So, 
I swear a lot in real life. So anytime that I actually get a show where I get to swear, I fight for it, man. I do. In fact, when we got to swear in this game, I was like, yes! And I think I was fighting him for a while. And we got tangled up. And then before I knew it, he got me in the stomach with a knife. Just to make absolutely certain, you didn't see who was in the suit? No, I didn't. Voice? Body type? Nothing. Sorry. Can't you guess how tall the Anything person is, though, depending remember? on the suit? I'm sorry, I told you everything. I can't think of anything else. Are you sure? Yes. Date, look. Oh, come on. After all this, what is he trying to hide? Date, Ota is acting Ota strange. Ota is acting strange. I advise caution. What do you mean? Why is he holding a knife? I don't believe it. He's holding a knife. Why does he have I forgot that? he did that. In any I, it's case, been a long time you know since I played this game. Now. Also, Mizuki's not in this scene, I so I, I, I had no idea that this even happened when I first played it. Let me go! Let me go! What the hell do you think you're doing? Shut up! Just let me go! Uh, are you... I'm pretty sure that's assault. Sleeping gas. Now you've done it. I can't question him like this. But you can still get information. Do we have a warrant for this? There's a lot of questionable Inside things that are head. happening in this game right now. I know, Sean. Please do not go over it. Or pewter. Won't be a problem. But to me, he's, you sure he's always this is sure. okay. Ota just came out of surgery. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility. But I'm pretty sure he also didn't it's sign fine. a consent form. Just get it done. Good enough for me. Okay, so for those of you that have not played this game before, something that's really cool about this game is that every time you enter into a Somnium, you most of the time have two routes that you can take. And if you take a certain route, it will change the story of the game. So there are multiple endings to this game. Currently, we are going for the Mizuki route ending. And this is Aiba. Can you please take me with you? This is the AI that's in your head. As long as I have Wi-Fi, I don't need anything else. <laughs> Sorry, we can't have pets. Huh. I'm doing much better cool, than I was yesterday, man. thank you for asking. Uh, Anne is actually not in this video game. Is this but Anne is around. amazing and I love her. Seems to be. I also uh, really like her husband. Cafe? Her husband's super cool. Taku shop? No, but a warehouse is a commonly used location me of Ron's in live action person. dramas. You know a lot. Predicting this, I did some research on Ota's taste. I see. By the way... So this Somnium fall? is in Ota's mind. That, Ota is super into anime and stuff like that, so you're gonna find a lot of anime jokes in this Somnium. It's actually hey, quite funny. Uh-oh. Iris is about to be... Dead. Stop right there! The heavens call. The earth cries out, the crowds roar, all calling on me to strike back against evil. Hold on, Tessa, I will save you. Zach did such yeah. a good job with him. Oh, Zach. This is great. I will protect Tessa. <laughs> uh, is this from the stream we saw earlier? This is Ota's oh, boy. memory of it. It appears to be a bit exaggerated. All right, let's help reproduce the memory. Somnium scan, activate! Uh, 
Oh, I remember when we were recording this whole... This was my first time working with Chris Fiella on this game. Oh, gosh. It was so much fun. I... I... Me and Chris Fiella, we're, we're like this now. Um, but this game solidified it. We had such a good time recording all of this. It was fantastic. Curse you, polar bear! I will vanquish you! Will you now? But if I rush in, I'll slip on the ice and fall! Like this. <laughs> the thought bubble? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's always interesting because um, when you're recording for video like games, we have no idea what it's going to look like. I don't know what that was exactly. So it's really fun when you record something and then you play through the game yourself and you're like, oh, that's what, what is happening. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is the icy floor. We're gonna go to it. It looks like there's something back there, but whatever. Anyways, icy floor. The ice on the floor is slick. We're gonna lie down. For some reason, that gets rid of the ice because Cowabunga. this is a dream. Did my body temperature melt? Cowabunga! Ice? How hot are you? Those who don't fight won't survive. Oh ah! yeah! Now you can see on the side there's there's two different things. The mental lock here. Um. If we do one thing, it will send us to a different timeline. If we do another, we will go to a different, uh, to another timeline. So what we want is Mizuki's timeline. Oh, 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 this Baron Otar going at it. Damn, he's too strong. It sucks, but this is war after Hello, all. Bungas, my, my dudes, yeah. my bros, my broskies. Tessa. May the glory of victory be yours! It's over. I suppose we have no choice but to find the glory of victory. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go to this oil drum. Agent Dante, you've got four minutes. An oil drum, though it is lying down. Uh, we're gonna roll with it. We're also gonna use this tiny, so that way... Uh... We don't have to waste as much time. We only get six minutes in these, um, in the Somnium. <gasps> so each thing that you do in the Somnium takes up time. What is this? Oh boy. It's an A! A for A set. It's a knife! Oh, no! I don't want to die. I eventually stopped thinking. That's Tessa. That's right, it's Tessa. S stand your ground. Odamatsu Shida cowers. You're literally no cowering right now, but okay. I have to fight back with something. Okay, there's a remote control here. A 
remote control. It fell when Oto ran into the shell. Uh... Press button? <laughs> Press button. Hmm, nothing is well, happening. that sucks. Maybe there's no power. Oh, no power? There's power board right here. Shut up, Sean Chipok. No one asked you. It appears to be a power panel. Uh, I'm gonna say throw something probably is the right thing to do. This is an ice cold one. Iba, aim for the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. There we go. Darn it. Did he really help Iris like that? Regardless of the truth, right now, I am Ota's last hope. I have to help him That's up. right, you do. This is annoying. We have to... Brave hero, true identity revealed? I like how it says final episode. Ota looks frightened. He cannot stand. Um... Motivate? Why are all these qu timies questioned? What? Don't be scared. Stand up. Don't beg for it. Earn it. Do it and you'll be rewarded. Yeah. The ghost inside me whispered. <laughs> That's right. I can't be scared now. I have to stand up. Now count up your sins. <laughs> You've hit the limit. Time's up. Wait, I can almost make out their face. Cuter, force shutdown. Stop, stop it. <laughs> oh, oh, he got stabbed. Oh, stabby, stabby. <laughs> Well, that's not good. But we did it! <laughs> that's rough, buddy. <laughs> I don't play Kingdom Hearts really, so I have no idea what half of those characters. What are. were you thinking? I know Kyrie and Nami. You can only but that's stay it. Insomnium for six minutes. 
any longer and you risk getting your mind completely taken over by the subject. Yeah. I know. No, you clearly don't. Wow. This isn't just about you, Date. If your consciousness erodes inside of Somnium, you put the subject in danger as well. If I may? Fortunately, there were no abnormalities detected in the brainwaves after well, the scene. Well, that's good. Date and Ota both read normal. Although, the timing was really close. What was I supposed to do? You saw it, boss. You too, Pewter. I was about to see the culprit's face. Not necessarily. We need to verify that Ota did, in fact, see the culprit's face. True. That's the only way it could have ended up in his Somnium. Well, Ota? Huh? You saw the killer's face at the warehouse, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see their face. If I did, I would have told you guys already. Mm. You see? I mean, I did try to get a look at them when the polar bear fell over. They looked like they were knocked out, so I tried to grab the head part. But as soon as I did, I got stabbed in my gut. But don't you recognize that knife? That is what we witnessed in the I'm pretty sure that's his mom's knife. But why would yeah. his... His mom wouldn't stab him like that. I am confusion. Alright, talk to me, buddy. How you feel? I've been better. I'm still a little drowsy. What about your stab wound? My what? Oh, oh, it hurts. It started acting up suddenly. Ow! It's because you grabbed me and forced me to come here, Date! <laughs> Don't blame me, that was boss. I'll sue you for this! Most, come a on. lot of the actors from this game oh, are in Genshin. I explained it earlier, but you probably weren't here Get for that. One of me, the Zach Aguilar, Allegra Clark, Sean Chiplock, Jackie Lastra. Um, I see Ota is back to his healthy Erica self. Harlicker, we're, we were all in Just this so. game, and we're all also in Genshin. About the hook in the polar bear's leg. Ota, let me ask you something. When you were fighting the polar bear back at the warehouse, did the crane hook get stuck on the polar bear's leg? Now that you mention it, maybe it did. Maybe? It's like I told you, I don't really remember much. With all the tension and excitement and fear and adrenaline, my mind just went blank. But now that we're talking about it, I remember. Yeah, no doubt about it. The crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. And then, when the hook got pulled out, Blood sprayed all over. Uh-oh. Date, I checked all of the hospitals in the metropolitan area. None have a record of a patient admitted after 3 a.m. with a wound to the left leg. If what I saw in hmm. Somnium is how it happened in real life, that was a deep wound. Hmm. He definitely would have needed first aid. Perhaps a friend or accomplice helped them. You think there are multiple killers? That is not what I said. They may have helped the culprit, but not necessarily been involved in the crimes. I relayed the information to Boss Peter. Why were you hiding the knife in your room? Hmm? Because I was scared. Scared? The killer could come here to finish the job. But you didn't get a good look at their face, right? But they don't know that. I had it prepared just in case. You know what I'm talking about, right, Date? Preparing in advance in case you might need it. Like making sure your room is nice and clean before you go to a party. Oh, sorry. You probably don't have any experience with that. I have more experience than you. <laughs> so we know that the culprit has a deep wound on their left leg. That information could be crucial in catching them. Date, get out there. Look for people with an Did injured you left leg. The poop right there? How exactly? On my mic. Can't you just go ask around or something? Are you serious? Do you know how many people live in this city? Whoa. 
Why? What? What's going on? Date, what is the matter? Date! Are you all right? Oh. And I was like, what the heck? Don't fall behind my TV again. <laughs> oh, he's back up. There's Mizuki. <laughs> hey, this is... Oh, you're alive. Mizuki? What happened? You drank too much at the club and passed out. <laughs> Liar. I remember everything until I collapsed in the control room. You did something dangerous during the sink last night, didn't you? Your brain got overloaded and you passed out. That's what Pewter and Boss said. You met them? They brought you over. They said to let you sleep it off because you were tired from the investigation. All right, so this, this thing is add a rabbit. I've been telling Spike Chunsoft they need to make an Add a Rabbit plushie because I would buy it. But yeah, uh, so Date gave it to um, Mizuki on her birthday, and uh, yeah. Don't you have school? I'm off today. Why? Today is Tuesday. You should have school. You really can be an insensitive jerk. Can't Both you? of her parents just died. Take dude. a day off for morning. So that's Mizuki's mom, dead. And her dad, also dead. I see. Um, did Boss and Pewter say anything? Oh, Date's brain is rotting away. He won't last long now. <laughs> you should probably prepare for a funeral soon. So, they told you I'm completely fine, huh? Hmm. I detect no noticeable damage to your brain. You should not have any issue continuing the investigation. He probably went back to the hospital. Probably. Boss told Mizuki about Ota being synced. And about what happened at the cold storage warehouse. Mm-hmm. Why did she tell her all that? Mizuki was asking about the status of the investigation. The girl has lost both her parents. I am sure Boss felt that she deserved to know. Because she does. Mizuki deserved it. Time to get back to the investigation. Hey, will you take me with you? I told you yesterday, Mizuki. I won't put you in danger like that. But you're close to catching the culprit, right? The killer has an injury on their left leg. Boss said you need to find them. Let me help you. No, you stay here. Date, don't you know how I feel? My parents are dead. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. If I don't do something, I'm going to go crazy. Date, please. I'm sorry, I'm not smiling because of what's going on. I'm smiling because I have two very cute parrots above my TV that are preening each other and they're super cute and funny. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, yeah, Mizuki said. Date, consider Mizuki's feelings. She is lonely. Oh, I... Oh, my gosh. Mizuki has not been with Renji so, and Shoko for four years. I remember. But clearly, she still feels a bond to them. When I was recording this, we get to, like, towards the end of recording the game, right? 
And um, and I was like, oh my God, here I come in to cry again for the billionth time. That was the joke, is that every time I had to record for this game, I had to cry because Mizuki goes through a ton of stuff, right? So like, I was like, so how am I gonna, why am I gonna cry today, right? Um, and uh, then we get close to the end of recording and, um, and Chris said, you know what, Karina? You're gonna be happy. Next time you come in to record, which will be two days from now, next time you come in, you're not gonna have to cry anymore. That was the last crying scene you had to do. And I was like, frickin' finally. Does it, do I get a happy ending ever? And uh, um, then uh, he's he's like, yeah, of course there's a happy ending. So I come in the next, next week and we go into record, or the next two days, two days from then, and we go in to record, and um, he said, so, and I was like, you said I didn't have to cry. I immediately knew what that so was going to be. It was so, and I was like, you said I didn't have to cry, Chris. And he's like, mm, you're gonna have to cry. And I was like, God damn it, Chris. Why? <laughs> Why would you tell me that I'm not gonna have to cry anymore? And then of course I, I had to literally cry in every single session recording for Mizuki. Which I don't mind. I, I love, I, I actually really enjoy crying on cue. It's kind of therapeutic in a weird way. A bond that was broken by the murderer. With her parents gone, Mizuki has almost no one. But it was she a joke. Only yeah. depend on one person. I will say that crying on cue. You know to whom I am referring. is draining like like i can do it it's and i like doing it i like having that like i like being able to do that but it's very draining like emotionally so basically after every single recording session i had i had to go home and sleep so yeah i had to take a nap every time Fine, let's go. You're gonna take me? Yeah. Um, so, uh, D Bop Pop, the way to cry on cue is to not fake it. I know that sounds weird. It's, it's really just about being in the scene and, and, and being on it like acting is not lying people like to associate like oh actors must be great liars we're actually terrible liars and that's because when you learn how to act you're learning how to believe the situation that you're in to the point where it's real in that moment it is real obviously it's not real once you leave that once once you say cut it's done and you're done with it and you don't have to mess with it anymore um but when you're in that scene and you have to cry you're actually sad um, a lot of people, when they get into acting, it's really funny because they, they, they think that, oh, well, I'm only faking all of these emotions. No, you're actually feeling all of those emotions for real. So, um, and you have to believe them in a way that makes it feel, uh, makes it feel like in that moment, you are truly right there kind of it, there's a whole thing onto it but yeah um among us is an example of terrible <laughs> yeah exactly just watch our among us streams we're all terrible at lying but that's because lying is a different skill than acting unless you're zach or erica no i would say that they are terrible liars it's just that I, I've gotten to the point where I just third imposter now all the time. So even if I know it's them, half the time I don't say it's them anymore. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Date. I got up, grabbed the towel from the sink, and tossed it at Mizuki. Here, wipe your tears. We're heading out. Um, Katie, that is a, um, it is a method, um, of acting, trying to do that. I highly suggest not doing that only because, now here's the thing. Do I do that sometimes? Sure. But I have to do it with memories that I am truly okay with reliving in that moment. 
Um, meaning I've gone through a lot of fucking therapy over it. But, um, thing is, is that any, it, actually, this is a good time. A lot of people do try to re uh, use memories that they've had in the past for sad moments and stuff like that. Thing is, is that that can be very dangerous psychologically. Um, um, and, um, it can be done. Don't get me wrong. It absolutely can be done. I just like to use it more as a last resort because of the psychological, um, uh, repercussions that could happen by doing that. Um, so I try my best not to do it. Now, there might be a day where you're just not feeling it. For some reason, you can't, you can't get in the moment or anything like that. That's what it's called, getting in the moment. So then you might use a previous memory, that, a past experience that you've actually been through. And I actually did that accidentally. I wasn't doing that on purpose. Um, Mizuki was kind of a, uh, it was a rough one for me. Um, because some of the things that Mizuki had been through, I had also been through as a kid. And so there was a time where it, me, me being in the moment kind of triggered me reliving past events that had happened to me. And I remember that because when I was recording, we had just taken a break and then we come back in, me and Chris do the scene, and it was, it was rough. Um, and the thing is, is that usually I'm really good at, once I'm done with a scene, I can, I'm, I'm out of it, I'm not done, I'm like, I'm done, you know, uh, it's, it's totally okay, and I'm back to being in the present, or whatever, um, and I, and it got to me because again, doing that scene triggered past memories of things actually happening to me. And so Chris, I remember was like, so we're gonna take another 10 minute break. And I, and I remember as saying, we just took one and he's like, you need another one. So, <laughs> and he was right. I, I did need another one. Um, but, uh, so it definitely can be done. There are times where I have used, um, used past memories in scenes and have been totally fine afterwards, but they were with past memories that I have already dealt with, um, in therapy so I can relive them without it psychologically tormenting me. Um, but for that day, for that specific day, I wasn't planning on doing that and it turned into that and it, mm, it screwed me over. It was not a fun day for me. So anyways. Date, I must admit, I am at a disadvantage. Mm. The clue that the culprit is injured on their left leg does not help me narrow down suspects significantly. We need to revisit the scene. It's possible that we might find the culprit at one of the crime scenes. Oh yeah, Chris Fiala is very or good to his ask actors. around the city for further information. Okay. Look at the apartment. This is Mizuki's bench press. Uh, she lifts a lot because she's super strong. Mizuki's strong. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to Bloom Park. I remember telling you before that Bloom Park is an important part of my memories. Before it shut down, oh I shit, it was this scene. Daddy and mom. <laughs> so that scene that I just said, they fought it was lot. this one. But sometimes they got along. Whenever we were here, it was one of those sometimes days. I remember it clearly. I was just a little girl, but it was so rare to see them laughing together. That's why I remember it so well. I remember riding the merry-go-round like this. Mom was standing right next to me. She was holding me. So I wouldn't fall. Um. 
come here with friends? Other than last Friday? Nope. I haven't. This place has been off limits for almost a decade. Even if it wasn't, I don't think I would want to come back here. Why is that? How can I explain it? I guess I just wanted to keep that memory beautiful. I didn't want to ruin it or replace it with another. But in the end, it was replaced by the worst memory possible. Where was Renju when you were on the horse? Daddy was on the outside taking pictures of me and Mom. He was on the other side of the fence with an old camera. Every time we passed in front of him, Mom and I would wave our hands. <laughs> we sound like a happy family, huh? He must have gotten good pictures. No, actually. We tried developing them at the park, but they came out all blurry and out of focus. Mm. But Mom wasn't mad or upset or anything. She just started laughing. That might have been the first and last time the three of us laughed out loud together. Did you go on any other rides? I couldn't get on many of them because I was so little. But I did ride the Ferris wheel. And the panda ride. They're kind of tame now, but at the time they were really fun. I was having so much fun it felt... wrong. Like it was too good to be true. Bird, that's my camera. That's my camera. Yeah, that's my camera. You're gonna fall. <laughs> I didn't say anything as Mizuki climbed down from the horse. Then she asked me something strange. Hey, Date. It was this. How do you define family? Define it? You mean like being blood related? That would mean you and I could never be family. Well, I guess that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. That's my camera. This is what I think. A family is a perfectly ordinary relationship in the most ordinary way. Huh? Like, you say, I'm home, and you get a welcome home back. Doing those ordinary things automatically, without even thinking about it, is what a family is. That's why maybe me and mom and daddy weren't able to be a family. Our whole lives, we never could be ordinary. Even if I tried my hardest to be normal, it would just be awkward. Eventually, I got tired of trying. I killed them. What? I killed mom and daddy. I, I was never a good girl. I didn't listen to mom. I couldn't do ordinary things. That's why mom hit me. And why mom and daddy didn't get along. And why they got divorced. Then mom had to start working and start doing business with dangerous people. If I was just a good girl, mom wouldn't have been killed. This, all of this, is all my fault. Why me? Hey, haven't you had enough? This is my bitch of a mom. No, I'm not married, so take this with a grain of salt, but it's not just you, right? Doesn't every family have a tough time raising children? Our child is abnormal. Abnormal? Ever since she was a baby, no child should cry at night as much as she did. No child should dislike buggy rides that much. No child should ask to be picked up and hugged all the time. She's still abnormal even now. Other children would have learned to clean up after themselves by now. They would be studying, going to bed on time, waking up on time. Yet why is my little girl... She sounds like a normal kid to me. Maybe the problem isn't with Mizuki. Maybe it's you. I'm doing more than anyone! Our child is stupid, brain dead, abnormal! Date, honey, you can't work her up like that! Who's the VA of Shoko? 
I don't remember. Hold on, I'll answer that in a second. Who is the VA? She did an amazing job. Like doing doing people like this is really hard to do properly. Um, because you almost have to, it sucks, but when you're the actor of these people, you almost have to, like, really see it from their point of view and kind of, in the moment, justify what their actions are. Of course, outside of the moment, you can definitely be like, ugh, that was gross and I hated it. Um... But in the moment, you have to play these characters as purely as possible and people like that don't think they're the bad guy they think they're justified and you in that moment have to also think that it's it's kind of a crazy way to go about it um but yeah uh let's see here oh it's not on imdb why well, Shoko's not on IMDb for at least the English one, so I don't know. Where's Mizuki now? Sleeping at home, not knowing that her mother is crying her eyes out because of her. Okay. Listen to the rest of the story. I quit my job for that girl. She didn't ask for that. I threw away the career that I built with my own hands. She also hands. didn't ask for that. I raised my child at the expense of my own No life. one asked for that. But one little slap. Are you hitting your kid? There's nothing I can do. I have no choice. I know you should never raise your hand to a child. I know that. I know that. But I have a good reason. Do you now? She doesn't listen to me. So what else am I supposed to do? Right, because when people don't what the listen hell to you, mean, what am I supposed to do? Them? That's no reason to hit a exactly. child. So of course she starts crying. And it's so irritating that I have to hit her again to get her to stop. And Mizuki cries and cries some more. Dorothy Fawn, thank you. Why are you crying? If you're going to cry, why didn't you just listen to me in the first place? Then I wouldn't have to hit you. Stupid Mizuki. Stupid girl. It's not my fault. Everything is her fault. No one said you had to have that child. Have you talked to Renju about this? I'm trying. I'm trying harder than anyone. Why doesn't anyone see that? Why doesn't anyone understand? <laughs> Date. Yeah. I'll talk to Renju about this. It was my misunderstanding. What do you mean? I thought that mothers love their children unconditionally. But some mothers just can't do that. Well, no. Maybe she does love her. But she has a hard time of it. I'm pretty sure she doesn't love her. Shoko was never hugged by her mother. Not because her mother wasn't around. She was raised to never develop a sensitivity to affection. No hugs, no piggyback rides, nothing. Maybe that's why she doesn't The know only thing that makes Renju a little bit better is that he doesn't hit Mizuki, birth. and that's literally Sometimes it. Otherwise, he just doesn't know how to raise uh, Also, a terrible parent. It's just like that. But that doesn't mean she's blameless in all this. Someone has to put a stop to it. If I could have, I would have done it a oh, long yeah, time Chris, ago. Oh yeah, Chris Hackney is also about in Genshin, counseling? who plays my I dad. I recommend that. She told me, I'm not sick. Why should I go see a doctor? Mizuki is the problem. Mizuki is the sick one. Maybe it's best if Mizuki and Shoko are separated. No, Mizuki would never leave Shoko. She wouldn't hear of it. Mizuki and Shoko are practically attached to the Are they? Even with all of the hitting? Yes. Even if she's abused on a daily basis, even if she's treated like garbage... Maybe. Mizuki is hungry for love. She craves she praise and she attention get it from you. and physical affection. She doesn't get it from anybody. She wants it from her mother. That's why she's so attached. Couldn't you step in and take over the parenting? What a genius idea, Date! Why doesn't Renju do that? I have a company now. 
Lemniscade. We're at a crucial stage of development. I can't take even a single second out of my day to deal with a kid. Then why did you have a hey, kid? Hey, that's your daughter you're talking about. Maybe because you two can't cooperate on raising a child, Shoko is having trouble coping. Mm -hmm. That might be it. Maybe this is partially my fault. Partially? Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna say it. You two are both awful Thank parents. Thank you, Date. <laughs> I knew about the whole thing. What you doing? That's why four years ago, I decided to start taking care of Mizuki. <laughs> Mizuki, you did nothing wrong. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Not one single thing was your fault. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pretty sure they cut off a lot of that crying but part of the reason why I had to take a break was because I couldn't stop crying um <laughs> so yeah that was the scene that uh that um triggered a lot of stuff <laughs> That's my, that's my huh? webcam. Why are we at the shrine? Did you come here to pray that you find the criminal? <laughs> no, I don't believe in God. Wow, how edgy teen of you. <laughs> and don't call me a teen, you're 12. Well, you said that you got the shoulders of a 40 year old. That's not even remotely similar. So why are we really here? I sometimes come here when an investigation stalls. It helps me think. Sometimes I even solve the case from here. This is a quiet, peaceful little spot in the middle of a violent city. It's calming. It keeps all of the bad thoughts away. Didn't expect you to be such a poet. You could at least call me a romantic. Same thing. <laughs> They're not at all the same thing. It's the difference between someone who's frugal and someone who's cheap. You're stubborn about weirdly specific things. Yep. All right. Um, one of the cool things about this game is that if you click on some random stuff around the places, sometimes they have little... What does it say? Moments like this. When riding on a train, people on opposite sides of the car doors shouldn't stare at each other. That's what it says. That is definitely a lie. Why do these dog statues always have one with its mouth open and one with its mouth closed? Good question. Maybe the one with his mouth open is going, ah, uh, and the one with his mouth closed is going, um. <laughs> you're the one who asked. <laughs> so yeah, if you click around the stage and you're it, because you're with somebody else, you might even get a little bit of cl little clips of like jokes and stuff that's going around. Mr. Bell? Mrs. Bell. I see you two are getting along well. How are the birds? They are very cute and snuggling each other right now. flowers so yeah I 
about your training? Coming here reminds me of when I trained you. Yeah. It's been a while since we came here last. I have We're not even halfway through the story, really. You. We're Let through, we're, we're almost through an entire arc, Leave but the whole me. story all together, we're barely, we're not even halfway through. Because remember, there are different story paths, and right now we're down the Mizuki one. Begin! So Mizuki really strong. This is on you. Huh? Hey! What are you two doing? Mizuki! Run for uh, it! Wait for me! <laughs> By the way, whatever happened to those kids who bullied you? Oh, did I not tell you? No, you haven't said anything about it. I didn't want to pry. They stopped bugging me as soon as I threatened to fight back. They targeted some other kids instead. They did terrible things. So I... I broke all their front teeth. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, since we're here, let's go into the shrine. I told you, I don't believe in that stuff. Come on, come on! Lima, <laughs> you can see Lima's tail get what into the camera every now and then. To leave this boring place as soon as possible. And you? <laughs> it's a secret. When you tell people your wish, it won't come true. Then why did you ask me? Because if your dream doesn't come true, mine is more likely to. <laughs> You're more crooked than a hernia. Huh? Anyway, where to next? Hey, Mizuki, do you think you could fit your hand into the box there? Hey, Date, are you really a cop? Okay, next place. I also auditioned for Aset, so Jackie's character. Apparently, I was second choice after Jackie for that. But I was always first choice for Mizuki, so... This is where Iris and Oto almost got killed, right? Gives me goosebumps. You scared? That's rare. You need to chill. You need to get better jokes. <laughs> Oh, I understand. Chill, meaning both cold and relax. A pun intended. Don't explain it, it's embarrassing. No, not so far. Well, I don't dislike it. Of course, depending on the case, Sometimes it does get pretty discouraging. Mm -hmm. But that just makes the job all the more important, right? It means it really makes a difference in the world. I am not good at fighting games. You're I'm a great good guy. at first person shooters. You should learn from him. Do you know why I do this job? And, uh, what keeps me going? I would say I'm kind of good at adventure type games. So you could steal underwear from the gym Eddie's not better get in at trouble. adventure type games though than I am. Told but first person that. shooters are definitely where I'll I I'll show them shine. trouble. Have you been here before? Huh? What do you mean? This is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. 
I know you said Renju doesn't own it or anything, but I thought maybe you might have seen it before. No, not at all. Really? Yes, stop being annoying. What are you Why would I lie about that? Leba, <laughs> that's my camera. You can't perch on it. Oh my god, please don't perch on it. She's trying so hard to perch on it. Are you cold? Could I have your jacket? Oh, wait. Never mind. That jacket probably hasn't been washed in years. <laughs> Who said I'd give it to you anyway? Don't disregard good intentions so casually. Mizuki is a quick thinker. You are her father figure now. You should praise her so she matures. I don't want her to mature. She's trouble enough as it is. Anything on your mind? The polar bear. Where did he hurt his leg? He did get hurt, right? The boss lady said so. Zulu, what are you doing? The crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. And then, when the hook got pulled out, blood sprayed all over. That's right. The polar bear must have been bleeding badly at this warehouse. That means... Somewhere in the frozen warehouse, the polar bear's blood. Well, to be precise, the blood of the person in the polar bear costume. Okay, so... Hi, baby. What's your name? <laughs> oh, wait. I remember. It was Kagami, right? What did you say? <laughs> oh, sorry, my fault. Must be mistaken. No. No! You're exactly the right! The one time. How? What's the matter with you? Sorry, I just get so emotional sometimes. Date, this guy is kind of weird. You're right, Mizuki. Stay away. Huh? What? There are a lot of weirdos out there. If you get a bad feeling, trust Where your instincts and don't get too close. Yeah, I'll be careful. Hey. There we go. We see each other a lot. Yeah, you're right. Maybe in a previous life we... Taro. You must be Taro, right? No, I'm not Taro. You must be exhausted. This might sound weird coming from me, but don't push yourself too hard, okay? Thank you for caring. It means a lot. Ota was down around here. Right? Correct. The blood stains there must belong to Ota. Correct. No, wait. That's where the polar bear's leg was pierced by the hook. Date, I've analyzed the blood. The blood stain here is not from a single person. Mm -hmm. Two different blood types are present. One of them is most likely Ota's. The other. Hey. It's the polar bear. Do you have bears. DNA forensics on that blood stain? Of course, yeah. I already sent it to the lab to be analyzed. I'm just waiting to hear back. Why are you waiting? Because that blood is from Ota Matsushita's wound, uh, right? Funny you should mention the Nonary Games. The Nonary Game was made by the same Tell person that made this game. Tell analyzed urgently. Highest priority. The culprit's blood is mixed with Ota's. Yes, sir. Understood. You did it, Date. We're making progress. If this goes well, we can identify the criminal My with a single about to test. My bird's something stupid. And I'm just gonna let her. But it might take some time for the results to come it. out. D oh, no point waiting that here. That was maybe not a we good might perch. as well check somewhere else. <laughs> she Got was it. about to perch on something that was definitely gonna make her fall.
in this game. Let's go. I actually did play them. I played them on my own, just not on stream. Oh my god! You're... She perched on it and she's not falling. Hold on. Yeah, you're not falling, baby. You're not falling. So basically what he did was <gasps> And they were surprisingly soft Date, what are you doing? Sorry, what? Does this have anything to do with the investigation? Uh, no I sound a lot like Paimon? Weird, no one's ever told me that before Crazy. Wouldn't be like I'm that actual voice actor of Paimon at all, would it? I don't think. Nah, that couldn't be it. Uh, who voices Paimon again? <laughs> oh, actually, uh, side route. Huh? What? What are you doing? I'm putting the We're getting an ending. I'm going to Atami with her. I've made up my mind. You can't stop me. Side effects of the medication. This is acute brain failure. Wait, are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? Date, you're being annoying again. Do you know how angry I can get, Date? Let's go to Atami. Uh, okay. Took her hand and let her out of London's gate. Be nice to each other, share. Thus concludes the case of the new Cyclops killer. Goodbye, police officer life. Hello, Itami. Shizuka. I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I decided to begin a new life anew as a carnival worker in the hot springs town. The end. Okay, guys, that was it. That was the game. Uh, we're done here. And uh, that's all. That's all she wrote. That's all, folks. We're good. And uh, yeah, just tuck his eye out, left eye behind. <laughs> That's the game. Great game, right? Yep, game over. We did it. Uh, funny thing is, is that I actually do have to go to the restroom. So I will be right back. Wait here.
we're back. Um, so one of the cool things about this game is that when you, uh, you can actually restart where you left off last time. So you don't have to restart everything. So that way, when you're going down different branches of the story, you don't have to do everything all over again. You can just start where you need to. Hi, baby. What's your cup size? Oh, two. Well, of course it would be two cups. Three cups would be a nightmare. <laughs> Date, why are you asking that? Karen Straussman doesn't voice Paimon. What? Uh, a no, character sorry. named Paimon in a completely but I did different see a guy series who had legs like a horse hair crab. What? Sounds horrifying. <laughs> oh yeah, Sarah Miller Cruz, yep. Alright. Uh do you have any memories of Renju here? Sometimes we would talk when I came over to hang out. What kind of things did you talk about? Nothing special. It's definitely the usual. The usual? Are you doing well? Have you been eating right? Huh. So that's the usual. <laughs> Mizuki, could you go to the office? Why did you Ask them if they've seen anyone with an injured left leg. Got it. I realize that they're joking now. It took me a little bit to get on the joke because I'm dumb and autistic. But yes, I, I get it now. I'm just dumb, guys. Looks I'm like really it dumb. Didn't go well. No. Let's check out Renju's office. Isn't it technically Mizuki's office now? Since he died, it's Good her idea. business. You might find something important in there. Sore feet are part of the job. Time to earn my paycheck, I guess. Oh no, you have to work? Gosh. Lima's snuggling with me. Lima doesn't snuggle very often because she's still getting used to me and Eddie. But gosh, it's so cute when she does. I want to cry. Oh, babies. She's like right up against my neck. Once again, I looked for any clues we might have missed. I guess it was a waste of time. Yeah. I didn't find any clues. Oh no, Zulu snuck! Oh, nope, I scared Zulu away. Never mind. Lima, what are you doing? What are you chewing on my neck for? I'm sorry for bringing you here. Because this is where daddy's corpse was? I told Hi. you before, it's fine. I was the one who said I wanted to come with you, so... Can you think of anything? 
Um, not really. What? Where do you want to go? A rusty drum. A trident. Ryugu water. 980 yen. 980 yen? Yep. For water? Not just water, seawater. Yep. You can't even drink it. Pictures of maids on display. Which one is your type, Date? Where is this coming from? Just tell me. Well, let's see. Wow, you're really thinking about it? Disgusting. <laughs> you asked! You asked! <laughs> I'm on Dante's side for that one. You literally asked. Nothing suspicious. Well, I guess it's time to go. Yeah, nothing we can do here. I think my food just got delivered too. Hold on. I got sushi. Oh, we're at the hospital. Mizuki. And Date. Why are you mad that Date's there? Ota, are you okay? Yeah, totally. Oh, that was a good jump, oh, baby. I don't want to get in your way. I should head home before I cause any more trouble. No, not at all. Kind of sushi? You're fine well, right here. This place called Sugarfish. No, I've never really, had it before, I but should I've heard go. it's like really freaking I'm good. I'm sure that he has more fun with his friends than with me. It's one of so. Kira's like favorite places. Oh, it's fancy though. The box, like, tells you what kind of sushi we have. Thanks, Tuna. Mizuki. Huh? You came to visit me. Albacore. Right? Oh, yeah. Right. It would be awkward to admit we are only here for the investigation. Yeah. We got Punzu and Tuna. Yummy. And yes, you did just see me eat a lemon. I like lemons. Um, I didn't get any tempura sushi. This is all like fresh. I got like nigiri and and some rolls and some sashimi. Sashimi. Wow, I can't speak at all. Get me. Are you okay? You passed out oh, last night. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm fine. I feel much better after a good night's sleep. It sounded like you were having a nightmare. You kept moaning something about Reika. Reika. <laughs> Who's Reika? Seriously? Seriously. Have you remembered anything? No. Just what I told you yesterday. All right. You know, if you weren't in the hospital, I would slap you upside the head so hard you start remembering things again. Like shock therapy? Whoa, old school. I thought Abyss was more future tech than that. We are, but if it ain't broke, <laughs> you can learn a lot from the past. I see. Maybe, Maybe you should hit him. <laughs> no, no, no way. Ota's pretty energetic for being in bed all day. He's the type that gets annoying around women. Um, about the investigation. So, we still don't know who the culprit is? If you remember anything at all, please, tell me. Well, 
Maybe that all depends. If you could get me, say, Tessa's toothbrush, it might jog Ew. my memory. Are you really gonna do this in front of Mizuki? It's fine. Mizuki proofreads the light novels I write. I'm sure she's used oh, to it by right, now. She does. What are you making her read? Lots of things, like... Driving Wait, sucks Mizuki, in LA. You don't nothing have to is tell good him. about driving in LA. Are you kidding? There is nothing good about driving in LA. Have you heard about Iris? The nurse was talking about her a minute ago. That she's still in the ICU? Yeah. Apparently the surgery I'm, went well. You don't have to tell me that you don't want to play Genshin. Hey, Ota. I'm not Next your mom. Next time we should fold a thousand paper cranes. To wish that Iris will get better. Yeah. We could even make her a life-size crane. I don't crane. know why I would be that offended would be by that. That would be a somewhat troublesome gift. I'm not, like, you don't have to play every game that I'm in. If you play a game that I'm in and you like it, that's I right. heard that but you, you fought off the killer and saved Iris. Not that's everybody's so game cool, is everybody. Ota, you have a wound of not honor. every game is gonna be everybody what everybody likes. No, not really. Well, I guess a little. Calling me a hero. It's kind of embarrassing. I didn't call you a hero. <laughs> it is a good thing Iris was saved, but he's still irritating. Even more irritating than seeing cosplay in public. Should we get going? Yeah, let's go. Wait, you two just got here. It's okay. We saw you. Now we can go. <laughs> we already have Ota's testimony. It is unlikely he has any further useful information. Right. Where to now, Date? Hmm, let's see. So that's the situation. I see. Yay! Someone with an injured left leg, huh? Yep. Know anything? I've looked into it, but I still don't have anything useful for you. The case is still as fresh as a young man's juices. What does that mean? I have... No idea. Hmm. Still not used to mama. No, I am. You sure? You still look a little scared. A little. <laughs> 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 Scaredy cat. <laughs> Laughing at me. Yeah, because it was funny. Mm -hmm. I'm going to expose your browser history. What? Seven ways to take home a cabaret girl. Ooh. Three minutes with a married woman. Stop, stop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you have a problem with gay people? Now, Mizuki's answer... I remember walking in and reading what Mizuki's answer was and being really happy about it. Like, recording this line that comes up made me so happy. Yeah, anyways. No, not at all. I see gay people on TV all the time, so it's not weird to me. The LGBT community is rich in sensibility, has excellent taste, and is full of talented artistic people. And they share a common struggle. It makes them more sensitive and capable of sympathy. That's why so many of them are kind and caring. And they choose how to live their lives on their own terms. It means they have a strong backbone. 
So because of all that, I really respect them. They're even kind of cool. And that means you too, Mama. Oh, I love it. Bravo. Six million yen to you. You can transfer it to my account. When I saw that line in the script, I was so happy. Um, being a part of the LGBTQ myself, like, and, and, and not really coming out. I, it took me a long time to come out, like, for a lot of different things. Um, you know, first was the fact that I was, uh, pan by whatever you want to call it. Um, but definitely into, like, whatever. I didn't, gender means nothing to me. As long as they're hot, I don't care. I'm attracted to them. Um, and then, um, and then also coming out as non-binary, which was a whole different experience entirely. This line was awesome. And I remember when the game came out, people started accusing, um, us on the English side of like, oh, that's not what it says in the Japanese. That's exactly what it says in the Japanese. Ushikochi even has a part where, if we go into here, Ushikoshi has like a lot of things where he talks about who wrote the game. There's a lot of stuff here about like file files in the game and stuff like that. There's people, appendix. If we go to the LGBT part, it said this is directly from Uchikochi. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans transgender. I love them all. So, Ushikochi. Yee. What's in the backpack? Hey, Mizuki. What's inside that backpack you always have on you? Why? I'm just curious. Well... Water, dehydrated bread, chocolate, biscuits, a flashlight, a hand charger, Swiss Army knife, a candle, matches, triangular badges, a first aid kit, whistle, portable toilet, a plastic bag, duct tape, a grenade, a magnet, disposable hand warmers. Do you have an entire disaster relief kit in your bag? Yes. Better safe than sorry. I'm ready for anything. That's right. Ready for anything. Perhaps I misheard. But wasn't there an illegal item in there? Right, a Swiss army knife. Yeah, I'll look the other way. About Mizuki. I never got to tell you, but I think she's very cute. I could just eat her up. Um, okay. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. I only really want to eat men. <gasps> Date, what are you making me say? You said that on your own. <laughs> oh, come on. Isn't a gentleman supposed to cover for a lady's slip of the tongue? Who is the lady Mama is referring to? Don't ask me. About the culprit with the injured leg. Sorry, no idea. Damn. I thought you of all people would know something. I am an informant, but really dangerous information doesn't just come rolling in here. But I promise, I'll keep my eye out for anything. Please do. And if I find something, yeah. you have to take a bath with me. Absolutely not. Oh, why not? Because you take up all the hot water. That's your issue? I promise I won't. I'll even take the costume off. It's a costume? Mm -hmm. He's a drag queen. And I look good without it. Well, Time to go. Thanks for the chat, Mama. Oh, leaving already? 
I have an investigation to finish, but I'll be back. You are so impatient. Even though you take your time in bed. Don't say things like that. In bed? What does that mean? Oh, thank you. You don't need to know. Let's go. Abyss headquarters. website if you go to www.karinabedford.com you can send me stuff to my p.o box please don't send me stuff that you want me to send back to you you will not get it back i can put it on speaker i don't work like that date are you with suzuki right yes i am yes what's up i need you to come to abyss headquarters with suzuki i was just heading there did something happen yeah the head office I want to get information from Mizuki. We here at Abyss have her testimony, but the rest of the MPD wants to hear from her. They didn't get anything from her last time. They want to do an official questioning. This order comes straight from the top. Oh boy. We don't have the power to say no. So, please. You heard her. I don't want to. I want to keep investigating. Sorry, buddy. There's nothing we can do. We can't fight the power of the state. You are the power of the state. Abyss is a toenail on the foot of the state. <laughs> as far as they're concerned, we don't really do anything, and we don't have any say in what they do. And anytime we get too troublesome, they cut us off. Why? Oh, stupid Date. Sorry for the trouble. Don't worry about it. I'm just a slave to you anyway. Oh, come on. I don't treat you like a slave, do I? Just because I sometimes make you lick between my toes? Ew. Ew, what? I didn't I said that at the anything. same time. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks, Date. And don't worry about Mizuki. I told HQ to take it easy. Mizuki, just make sure you behave and listen. Right, that. It'll be over soon, don't worry. Besides that, Date, there's something I have to tell you. You have a message from one of the inspectors at the warehouse. Kagari, Mogami, something like that. <laughs> Kaniza? Kaniza! Oh, yeah, that's it. A message from Kaniza. He wants to give you some information in person at the warehouse. That's right, it's Kaniza. Could he have... The blood results? I'll head over right away. Mizuki. Be a good girl, okay? Ugh. Jeez. My birds are literally making out right now. You can't see it because they're above my TV. Oh, damn it, they stopped. Come on, you lesbians, go do start doing it again. Oh, God damn it, they stopped. They are super cute cuddling, though. My birds are lesbians. Lima and Zulu.
Hey, Dante, sorry to make you come all the way down here, but I have the results of the DNA analysis. What did you find? It's just like you said. There were two different it's blood It's funny. Signatures. Somebody was like, like One trying to be like, definitely from um, Oda Matsushita. Cute because they were trying to be Other. like, Zulu, don't huh? do that. That's your well, sister. And I'm like, results, don't call them sisters because find any matches even database. though they're not lovers now, they probably will turn that into lovers surprising. because birds HQ does not have a complete record are all of pan all DNA. birds are pansexual. What now? All of them. What now? Um, and uh, do not panic. I have a piece of information I think you should know. What is it? And, um, so... I have discovered a suspicious person at your 12 o'clock. Yeah. 200 yards. He's looking And now, this like, I've caught Zulu trying person. to mate with Lima several times now. Um, and then with this... So, technically, birds don't really make out, as I said. They were, they were beak on beak, like, licking each other's tongues. But essentially what that turns into is them trying to throw up in each other's mouths. This gets gross. I'm sorry. I should have had a warning. Um, uh, trigger warning. I'm going to talk about throwing up now. Um, <laughs> because some people don't like that. Um, but to show affection, birds will throw up into each other's mouths. Um, so... That whole making out process will slowly turn into them throwing up into each other's mouths. It's great. I love I love birds. <laughs> I do love my birds though. They're very cute. And they're both looking at me right now and they're both snuggling and I love when they actually get along. I'd much rather them do that than attack each other, for sure. So um I definitely would love them to continue snuggling instead of trying to get on my webcam. Zulu. Zulu Zulu! No, that's my webcam. That's my webcam. No. This guy? Oh, little Date. Time for your medication. I said 200 yards ahead. Human figure. It's so Sejima, the congressman. That's... So Sejima. Bird. No! I don't believe no. it. No! His left leg. Huh? And my bird just fell again. Sorry, hold on. So Sejima! Stop! Culprit. Calm He's down. definitely the we culprit. We cannot yet make that conclusion. He was only dragging his left leg. But he's been all over this case so far. Shoko and Renju are both in bed with the Kumakuras. And the Kumakuras know so. And not just that. We saw him in Iris' Somnium. Mm -hmm. Still. And he has no alibi. No alibi for Shoko, Renju, or the warehouse. Date, calm down. The only thing we have so far is circumstantial evidence. We also do not have any established motive. We don't, but he did Why it. Why would he kill Shoko and Renju? He was working with both of them. Why would he cut out Iris? I don't know eyeball? that part, but. Well. However. I do agree that So is suspicious. Do you agree with me or not? I am explaining to you that we currently do not have enough evidence to bring him in. Confronting him now would only result in him denying everything. We need direct evidence. Direct evidence. Oh, nope, 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 nope. The nope, criminal's nope. blood from the cold storage warehouse. Okay. If the DNA matches So's... You can't find it. Right. We need to get So's DNA. The question is, how? So she's projecting her, um, she's projecting 
her hologram basically inside Date's eye, which is what you see in this little thing. It, says, it basically says you only see it in one eye. So she's not actually, no one else can see her right now. Only Date can. Hey, Aiba, do you remember when we went to the Kumakura's office Sunday? Of course. I am incapable of forgetting anything. Then let me ask you a question. What was on the table in front of the sofa? The cigarette butts. Mm -hmm. So was smoking those cigarettes. Exactly. And so saliva might still be on the butts. If we have that, we have so's DNA. Wait a moment. That was two days ago. The ashtray must have been emptied by now. But there's a chance. We have to at least try. Hmm. I agree. All right, let's head there. Oh boy. Hey, what are you doing here? You fucking with us, old man? Date, don't bother. Why is his mouth just open like that? I know. Hey, where are the cigarette butts that were in here? Huh? The cigarette butts, from when I was here a few days ago. We threw them away, of course, dumbass. Where, dumbass? <laughs> Why do you care about some cigarettes? I need them for the investigation of the new Cyclops serial killings. I see. Just last morning, I heard there was a new victim. I didn't watch it. But I heard something about it being streamed online. Poor girl got one of her eyes cut out. Yep. I know that, idiot. Sorry. And you're here for the investigation? Yes. So if I cooperate, they'll help you arrest this guy? Correct. All right. Look around as much as you want. Huh? That was easy. <laughs> You said you were looking for cigarette butts, right? Yeah, the one So was smoking. So Sejima? Yup. You think he did it? No, nothing for sure yet. Hey guys, where's the cigarettes that were in here? Probably in the trash in the back, boss. Bring me the one that So was smoking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I didn't touch him. I'm being considerate, I see. But why did you bring four? There were a couple of other cigarette butts in the bin. I didn't know which one's so small. Loma? I don't remember. But so cigarette is definitely one of these? Yeah, it's got... Date, remember the brand I remember so it was Klein! Right. He was... Llamas? Llamas is a brand now. Klein. I remember... So was smoking a Klein cigarette. Correct. Let's return to Abyss. Pewter should be able to get DNA from it. Got it. Looks like you found it. Yeah, thanks to you. Nah, this was nothing. Anything for Tessa. Tessa? Look who's an ASAP fan! What are you talking about, you Neanderthal? I said anything for Tesseract. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Shut up! If you're done here, get your ass going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whatever you say. Look who's an ASAP fan. Counting on you, Pewter. You can leave it to me. That's right. Leave it to Pewter. If the DNA on that cigarette matches the blood stain in the warehouse, 
There would be no doubt that So Sejima is our mysterious polar bear. How long will it take to analyze? Oh, if I had six hours, you've got three. <laughs> It's totally unreasonable. Do it or you're fired. But I suppose I will do my best to have this analyzed in three hours. You folded pretty easily on that one. I want to catch the criminal as soon as possible. That's all. Now, because time is of the essence. Really? You want to catch the killer that badly? Why? Maybe you have a personal interest. How is Mizuki, by the way? They finished questioning mm -hmm, her. Computer. One of the officers mm -hmm. take her home. She should be there by now. Good. So Sejima. I can't believe it, of all people. We don't know that for sure yet. But you saw that his leg was injured, right? It's pretty damning evidence. Don't be too hasty, boss. You were saying the same thing earlier. Anyway. Not wrong. Let's wait for the results. That will clear everything up. Yeah, you're right. I hope this won't be trouble. Trouble? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Hmm? Why did you poop in your food bowl? Lima, why do you do that? Oh, Lima. Pewter, is it she true? Always poops the results in are in? Food. Yes. The DNA I, I collected lie. from the cigarette butt is a positive match to the blood stain from the warehouse. Really? It was so all along. He was the polar bear. Yep. He carved out Iris's eye and stabbed Oda, and probably killed Renju and Shoko. Yep. Making or had so Sejima kill. the new Cyclops killer. Thank you, Pewter. Don't thank me yet. Hurry up and get so. Yeah, you're... I turned around and made my way to the exit. But right when I was about to open the door, it was opened from the other side. Boss. Boss, listen. The blood stain in the cold storage warehouse. I know. I got a report from Pewter. Well, then you already know. I'm heading there right now. Heading where? Where else? To Sozo's. Yeah. Date, I'm sorry, but you can't do that. What? I can't let you get so. Boss, I don't understand. This comes from the top. So and the head office have been tightening it for 20 years now. They can't go against So's wishes. It's corruption and bribes to be sure, but there's also some kind of blackmail. Uh-oh. Blackmail? So knows something. Something that the public can never know. If that secret got out, the authority of law would be thrown into question, and the entire police force would be at risk. So has something on HQ? Yes, almost certainly. That's why I can't let you go. Do you understand? It sounds like Hell the no. police have done some bad things. Then I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to take you off this case. Hey, boss, come on. Are you serious? That maybe they shouldn't Are you have. you serious? You gotta be kidding me! I had enough and I pushed back, uh, past boss and left the room. I walked with a confident stride down the hall with no hesitation. I made up my mind. I was going to Sosojima's mansion. Got into my car, turned the key, slammed my, my foot, uh, my, slammed my foot on the gas. <laughs> That's so terrible. Date, are you sure you want to do this? You still have a chance to turn around. If you put your hands on so, you will never be able to return to Abyss. I don't care. That's right. I don't want to work for a rotten organization in the pocket of some politician. That's right. When this is over, I'll open a restaurant in Okinawa or something. Wait. Oh, should I make it a soba place instead? <laughs> That's not what I mean. You have a video message. A video message? A video. Look. Well, that's not good. Shit. What do you want, Princess? Hi. What do you want? What do you want?
Mizuki! Mizuki! Well? Where are you? Uh, Excuse me. I did not mean to burp right into the microphone, I'm sorry. Dante, the hollow space in the speaker. Perhaps Mizuki is in there. X-ray! Yep, that's where she is. Mizuki! Dante, hurry! I know, I know. This is so typical. You're never there when you need to be. Just like six months ago, I was about to miss the bus and you... <laughs> Actually, stay like that for a while. Huh? <laughs> I don't believe this. Hi, my babies. Are you okay? I'm not hurt. My mouth stings a little. Thanks to you ripping the tape off my face. <laughs> if I get fat lips from this, I'm gonna make you pay for cosmetic surgery. Don't girls want bigger lips though? Huh. <laughs> not Mizuki. Who did this? Three men. The doorbell rang and they said they were delivery men. I thought you had bought another one of your weird videos or something, so I opened the door. And they sprayed me with tear gas. Did you see their faces? No. They were all wearing masks. It is probable that they are working for So. They may be his bodyguards or hired thugs. It just makes me so mad. If they didn't get the jump on me, I would have... Pow! Bang! Bam! Wham! Mizuki, I have just one thing to say. Hmm? Huh? Never in my life. Have I bought any weird videos? Yeah, I steal them on That's the internet like a normal say. pervert. <laughs> Who buys videos anymore? The internet exists. What? We identified the person inside the polar bear. The man who tried to kill Iris and Ota? Yes. And also, the man who killed your parents. Chewing on my fingers, don't you, Lima? I know you can't see it because it's off camera, but Lima's chewing on my fingers. Who? He's like nibbling them. Congressman So Sejima. So? Do you know him? Kinda. I've seen him on TV before. But why? I don't know why yet. But it was definitely his blood at the cold storage warehouse. That's right. I can't believe it. I'll never forgive him. I'll get him for this. I'm going to So's right now. Mizuki, I'm going to So's house now. Are you leaving me behind again? No, not anymore. <laughs> Even if I tried to leave you behind, you'd still come with me, wouldn't you? True. Okay. So are you ready? No. Zulu, I what need... should I be prepared for? Those bodyguards will be armed. It might get messy. Bring it. I'll put them in the ground. Don't kill them. We need him alive, and I need you to stay safe. Can you do that? Always. All. Occasionally. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway. Date, you have to understand. He killed my parents. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. If I turn back now, I'll go crazy. That's I know. Right. You don't have to say it. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Five minutes.
people. They're so cute. I love my birdies. All right, let's go. Let's kick Thanks some for the congressman butt. I came for so. Please take me to him. What are you talking about? He's sleeping and not taking any visitors. Go you home. go home. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I'm coming in. Ugh. I've always wanted to see this line. Nice punch. Well, let me use a line too. This is the end for you, chum. <laughs> Sejima's orders, nothing personal. That's what I thought. Huh? You're so predictable. What? Close to done yet. Look. Why are Bring they all twins, on. though? Let's do this. It's Mizuki's favorite pipe. Kill them. Yeah! Date, I'll take care of these guys. You get those, Date. Are you okay? You worry more about yourself, old That's man. Right, you should. Jeez. I'm off. Dark. I can barely see. There are numerous hostiles. Too many for you and your revolver to combat effectively. So what's the plan? Yeah, what's the plan, buddy? Hmm. Let's see. on that island. My oh, thing. my favorite line! A porno magazine. This is the best. What? Watch what Greg does here. Revolver with wire bullets. What am I shooting at? Above us. Above us? Why? No time to explain. Just do yep, it. Yep, just do it. We 
What was that? That's supposed to be a warning shot or something? Now throw us the gun. Come quiet. Date, do as I told you. Don't you mean surrender? Do it. Do it or we die. <laughs> Get them! Fighting over my fingers. I collected my evolver from the pond. You lied to me again. Oh, it's very unhinged. I have already I love this explained game. this to you. If you hear the words "porno magazine," your reaction speed increases by a factor of three point six. A rather convenient function of yours. Why wouldn't I take advantage of it? Damn it. How did you know about the lightning? Satellite imagery, atmospheric conditions, and other factors. However, I predicted the lightning would fall elsewhere. So I had you launch wire bullets to direct the lightning to the pond. Yep. Anyway, where's Mizuki? I will scan for her. Uh oh. <laughs> my eyes! My eyes! Mizuki! <laughs> Wait for me! I'm coming! Mizuki might have dodged all the bullets, but she can't dodge pepper spray. I detect trace amounts of capsaicin in the air. Mizuki appears to have been sprayed with tear gas. No. Mizuki's nearby. Have you looked on the other side of the sliding door? Not yet, but I know there's another room back there. X-ray. X-ray vision. Oh my god! She is. He has a gun! Mizuki! That is so holding her. Son of a bitch is using her as a shield. Why isn't Mizuki fighting back? Because she's knocked out! She does not appear to be conscious. I cannot determine why, but she is breathing. She is Good. alive. I have to do something. Wait, don't move. Remember what So told you. That he can see us somehow. There may be a sensor or something similar in this room. Or I could just shoot him in the head. 
I would yeah, stop that line of thinking. The audio is low because if you shoot room. now, there is a high chance he will hit Mizuki. Then what am I supposed to do? Let me think. Evolver with spherical bullets. Spherical. Then it's pick spherical. up that metal pipe on the floor. the southwest corner of the room. Mm -hmm. Then, immediately shoot a spherical bullet at the pipe. Mm -hmm. No questions, there is no time to explain. Okay. You sure this will work? If you time it correctly, yes. My calculations are never wrong. Got it. Are you ready? Yeah! Super ready. Yeah. Go! Pathetic. Killed by your own father. What? By the way, do you like fireworks? Let me show you the most beautiful firework you'll ever see. But don't blink. It'll only be a flash. I just want to point that out that So said that he was the father of Date. Shoot! How do you like these fireworks? What? Blood. Lots of blood. Happy Father's Day, by the way. <laughs> <sighs> I just want to go to the camp. Father's club. Day, and we just shot our dad. <laughs> um. So yeah. What? What? What did you say? Hey, quit fooling around. Come on. Date, get up! Hey. Hey! Yeah, it's Father's Day. Right there. 
there. Oh my god, my birds. I love you. I love you so much. Don't poop on my desk. I know even the best of us can be taken out of commission by a simple cold. But I always thought Date was above that somehow. Like a hero. A hero? Heroes are supposed to be invincible. Even if the odds are stacked against them, something miraculous happens to save them. That's what I thought would happen to Date. But instead, here he is. You make it sound like he's dead. <laughs> right. Sorry. Date has an artificial eyeball called an AI ball in his left eye socket. That's exactly where So shot him. So it acted like a kind of shield. Mm -hmm. Because of that, the bullet didn't go through his brain. It saved Date's life. The surgery to remove the bullet was successful, and now all we have to do is wait until Date wakes up. That's what was supposed to happen anyway. But instead... It's strange, isn't it? The surgery was successful. No EEG abnormalities. But he still hasn't woken up. I think I might know why, but if I'm right, it's nothing any of this medical equipment can fix. The problem lies in his soul. His soul? Something's going on in his consciousness. She does know about Iva now, yes. Don't worry about that. It's true that Date disobeyed direct orders, but that order basically came from So himself. And he's not going to be a problem anymore, is he? Date won't get reprimanded for this. Oh, good. So also no longer has his hooks in the MPD. We can finally resume the investigation properly. Exactly. Oh, that's Iba. Iba? Yeah, Date's partner. You saw him talk to himself sometimes, right? More like all the time. That was him talking to Iba. Oh. So I remember um, when this game came out, I had to keep quiet about me technically being a playable character in the game because it was always advertised, oh no, Date is the playable character in the entire game, right? Because that's what was advertised. And this is kind of like, and if I said, oh, I'm a playable character in the game too, that's like an, M that's an NDA. But now it's been out for so long, now I can talk about it. I'm actually a playable character in this game. And um, so I was really excited about that. <laughs> All the evidence points to So Sejima. Thanks to Date, I think we can finally close this case. There might even be a promotion waiting for him after this. Yay! He's lost somewhere in his own mind. Lost? He doesn't know the way back. Sinking over and over can have this effect. How can he find his way back again? Only one way I can think of. Maybe... Paging Miss Shizue Kuranushi. Shizue Kuranushi. Please come to the nurse's station. Looks like I gotta go. And that's Boss's real can. name. What? While I'm gone, keep talking to Date, again? okay? Behind my TV? You might give him a reason to wake up. See you. You are lucky, you are adorable, and I love you. Talk to him. Huh. My birds are so lucky that they are so cute. Boss's real name is Shizue Kuranushi. Shizue Kuranushi. <laughs> it doesn't fit her at all. Don't you think so, Date? Please, Date. Laugh about it with me. This part's so sad. Date. Wake up. Come on. Wake up. Okay, big brother. You gotta wake up now. You'll be late for school. That's what you want to hear, right, Date? You want to be called Big Brother, don't you? 
I know you do. I've seen the anime that you watch. Hey, say something. Talk back to me like you always do. Argue with me. Tell me that you have good taste in anime. <laughs> Dante. It's not fun if you don't say anything. Uh, so Chris Fiella doesn't really watch a lot of anime. And so when this line came up, I had to explain to him what that type of anime was. It was a lot. Hey, Dante. You're so stupid. You know that? Grade A, first class, king of the idiots. Why did you protect me? It was my own fault. I went into the mansion by myself and then got tear gas sprayed at me by soap. He hit me in the back of the head and I blacked out. This was all my fault. Everything I did was a mistake. But you came to save me. You made me look like an idiot, you know. Oh, wait a minute. I get it. You wanted to scold me, right? After saving me, you're never gonna let me hear the end of it. You suck, Date. Big, stupid jerk. Okay, since we're alone, I'll be honest with you. Earlier, Boss said that you were like a hero, right? I think so too. Deep down, you're a hero to me. You raised me since I was eight. Even when times were hard or you were depressed, you were there for me. The past few days, too. After mom and daddy, I was trying to act like it didn't bother me, but really, I was just holding it inside, staying quiet, pushing my feelings down. And I just took it. I forced myself to be happy. But inside, it hurt so bad. Like I wanted to die. Sad and afraid and alone. My heart was about to break. But, but because you were there, I was able to fight it. You being there helped me be myself. But if you're gone, Date, I... Hey, Date. Wake up. Come on, wake up! What happened to your promise? You can't tell me you forgot. You promised, Date. We're supposed to eat stew. Are you gonna break your promise? You're not gonna take me? That's not fair, Date. You liar. And God's a liar, too. I prayed at the shrine. I prayed that you wouldn't get hurt. But... <laughs> It's so sad. Do you want to save Date? Yes. Then I'll finish my thought from earlier. There's one way we can bring back Date. Someone has to sink into his brain and guide him home. Someone? Mizuki, I need a favor. Huh? You synced with Date once before, right? Your synchronization levels were extremely high. You two are compatible for syncing. No one is more qualified than you. Please. Oh boy. Please save Date. Okay. I'll try. Oh boy. Annoying. You told me a thousand times. <laughs> All right. Mizuki, we're counting on you. Leave it to me. Date, hold on. I'll bring you back. I promise. That's right. Are you ready, Mizuki? You should crush over Allegra Clark. She's mm. gorgeous. Then let's begin. So now we're gonna go into Somnium as Mizuki. The 
this is my house. But it's in black and white. Is this what's inside Dante's heart? Date, where are you hiding? Date! Lima. That's what? my camera. There's color over there. Lima almost fell. Mental lock two. Mental lock three. Mental lock four. Oh my god, there's five. Uh, okay. Okay, Stu. Is that Stu? We are going to... Taste it? I'll try eating some. The vegetables and meat are cut too big. Are they always this big? Me? Why? Hey, Date! Everyone's waiting for you! Hey! Are you listening? Date? Don't be modest now. This is my special recipe. Eat it while it's hot. I don't know how I did it, but I think it came out pretty good. So that was meant to lock one. We did that. Made a stew. This is when I first came to Date's house. Date, what happened? Why this? The desk got colored. Date's cork board. This picture. A pretty picture of a river. Where is Akikawa Valley? I'd like to go there someday. Dang it, that wasn't it. Frick. Um, police ID? Date's... No. Date's police... We're gonna hold it up just because we want to get rid of the... Hey! Respect the That's badge! That's right! Respect the badge! Just testing what would happen. Not playing around or anything. Date's police ID. Um, we're gonna throw it. Date, get up! Are you crazy? Jeez, what are you doing? <laughs> It's because you washed your old underwear with my clothes, dummy! Pervert! You gotta be more careful. If I keep this up, I'm not gonna get off with a warning and a pink <laughs> something this paper I'm gonna throw it away okay hope it's not important how can I get you to react Dante there's something about this trash okay there is something about the, the trash can but I'm dumb and I already five minutes remaining, oh shut up Sean oh <laughs> maybe this 
Oh, there we go. Hey, your school announced bring your parents to school day, right? Don't you have to tell Renju and Shoko? Wouldn't matter. Hmm. What should I do? Sorry for making you worry about me, Date. Got it. speaker I was in. Uh, hit it? I'm going to destroy all your electronics and stuff. Hope that's okay, Dante. Did that do anything? Nope. Come on. Shoot. A shelf with records. This CD? This is a CD from an idol group at Lemnus. L-U-E-42, the answer to the ultimate question. What a weird title. Nope, that's not it. Shoot. A speaker. Listen? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Hmm. That's my voice. Mizuki! Mizuki! Hold on! I'll find you! I remember being mad at you because you took so long. But after I saw your face, everything felt better. It's Add a Rabbit! Add a Rabbit! Add a rabbit is kind of ugly. I mean, at the time I said it was ugly, but I love Add a rabbit. Hmm. I hope this is okay. What if she doesn't like it? I'm home. Mizuki, uh, welcome back. What are you hiding? What's that? This? Oh, um, <laughs> I, I wonder. I was just thinking that this place looks awfully empty, right? Look, it's perfect right here. <laughs> hmm. Ugly. <laughs> we did it! Next is... Okay, so minutes, it's right? my bed. Okay, we're gonna smell it so that way we can get rid of the times two. Because it's six seconds instead of doubling. Doesn't smell like anything. Good. <laughs> I can't sleep if it smells like Date. Okay, we got rid of that. It's my bed. Date, but I can't sleep anywhere but here. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Figuring out a dream is tough. What should I do? Gosh next? darn it, that's not it! Oto would have this cleared in seconds. Now that I think about it, didn't I used to sleep on that sofa? When did that change? When you moved in. 
So do I go to the sofa? Door. A door. A uh, knock? Oh, here we go. Mizuki, hey. I'm sorry about eating your pudding without asking. I'll buy you another one. Hey, come on, open up. I'm at my limit here. I really have to go. I'm gonna piss my pants. Mizuki, seriously, come on. Open the door! We did it! You have three minutes remaining. Be careful. Date's bed. Well, the sofa. Uh... The chair where I always sit. If I stay here much longer, I'm gonna get sleepy. Dang it! That was not it. Dante sleeps on. Maybe I need to sleep on the sofa. I was sleeping here before, though. Said that? Hi, babies. Yes, it is way past your bedtime. Oh, I know you're so grumpy because you spent your bed times and I love you. What? fingers. There's color that way now. It looks like sunlight. Okay. And now... Date's coat. This? This looks dirty. It smells like him too. Well, I'm not gonna wear it. I don't wanna wear your coat, Date. That's not it. Damn it. Date's coat. Two minutes. I am aware, Sean Chiplock. You can hush. No, it's not right. I'll do it when he's wearing it. That's much better. There it is. Do you wanna hey. I got an extra sweet pudding for little babies. You can have it. <laughs> Smack! Smack me. Watch your mouth! Nice kick. <laughs> nice kick? <laughs> and now I go to the backpack? My school bag. And this charm. I'm gonna look at it first. Because I want that one. Huh. There's nothing in here. That's weird. I always keep my books in here. Oh, I get it. It's because Date doesn't know what's inside my bag. Even though he asked this you before. Do you care about me or not? Jeez. 
my school bag. And then we're gonna do this. This is from Ikume Shrine. Hey, since we're here, let's go into the shrine. Okay, so... I told you, I don't believe in that um, stuff. Come on, come on! The first time that I played through this, I played through it on Twitch. And something that they don't tell you about when they record things is they don't tell you what if, if it's not pertinent to you they don't tell you it you're under nda so if you don't need to know about it you don't hear about it so i didn't know that date said this and i cried What did you ask for? To leave this boring place as soon as possible. You need to be quiet. You need to be quiet. Hi, you need to be quiet. Yes, you need to be quiet. Tate. So I didn't know that that... Yes, I didn't know that that's what Greg said. Well, technically, Daddy. I didn't need that context. It wasn't important Daddy. for me. Mom. You need to chill. Do you want to play? Is that the problem? All right, so now we got to pick between uh, shitty parents or Date. I think we all know what I want to pick. Date? And this is why getting those ones is important. Hey, wake up! Everyone is worried about you! You shouldn't come to me. Go be with your parents. What? That also was so sad. You have less than one minute. Date? You have to hurry. Date, please, wake up! Not what you That's need. wrong. Hey, Dante, it has to be you, Dante. If you were here, I. I actually didn't end up using it, but it's whatever. I need you. Mizuki. Why did you buy? Thank you. Mizuki. What the? How did I get here? Dante! <laughs> hey, why the sudden affection? 
Yeah, because punching is affection in this house. Because you're so stupid. Huh? <laughs> you're so stupid. You're I just want to punch you. You're a very chatty bird. I know it's past your bedtimes. Welcome back. Welcome We're almost home. done. Dante. Yeah. Yeah, home. welcome home, Date. timeline this game is not done yet though because this is just one timeline there's multiple timelines in this game Also, there's this little part. How many routes are left? One, two, three, four, five? Five, I believe? Maybe? I think. I don't remember. Bet you die soon so that I can collect your life insurance money. Who wouldn't get a dime? <laughs> <laughs> Oto was discharged from the hospital. He's doing fine. Iris is still in the hospital, though. I heard. I hope she gets better soon. Yeah. There's one thing I haven't told you yet, Date. What is it? Five so far, yes, this incident, is the first one that I finished. On Tuesday, we I will be, fi or, um, uh, so we'll, I'll be streaming throughout the week to finish the rest of this. Where? I was getting dropped off at home. Was he alone? No. Someone was walking next to him. My homeroom teacher. Plus, I'm not homeroom done yet teacher. tonight. I'm gonna stream for She's a little bit longer my tonight after best this. Friend. I'm gonna start a, a different story. route. Tell you later. No, tell me now. I don't want to... Why not? Because I'm hungry. I'll tell you over food. I do not believe in the existence of God, but being that we are at a shrine, I felt it necessary to go with the tradition. What did you pray for, Date? Hold on two seconds, guys.
sorry about that. I didn't ask for anything. I just said thank you. Thank you for saving my life. Pardon me, I believe there is a misunderstanding. It was I who saved your life, not God. True. I was the one who stopped the bullet. That was completely by chance. <laughs> Wait, do you even remember that? I do. Everything that I see is uploaded to the cloud. All wirelessly, in real time. Even if my body is totally destroyed, my data is backed up and never lost. That includes my memories, as well as my central programming, which governs my artificial intelligence. Exactly! Though, I do not have any information from after being shot. Do you know what Date said right before he lost consciousness? No. What did he say? I said, Azuki, I'm so glad that you're nope, safe. Nope, that's not what he said. No, you didn't. You were moaning about wanting to go to a cabaret club. That sounds like Date. It is more comfortable than your eye socket. You can sit here anytime you want, okay? Yeah. Just hide if you see something. And maybe coming. also become my partner Lord's in the next ready. in the sequel. The case has been settled. So Sejima was confirmed to be the new Cyclops killer. No crimes similar to the MO of the Cyclops killer have been reported since Sosajima died. Mm. But we still don't know his motive. Why were those three chosen as targets? And also, and why, why did he call me his son? It is the opinion of the lead investigator. Why did he call that himself that his father? Was simply the result of So's sadistic, sociopathic nature. I don't buy it. I agree. Oh, sorry, Mizuki. No, it's fine. You guys are so talkative. All right, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. You haven't said it yet. Said what? Thank you for saving your mm -hmm. life. <laughs> I don't recall hearing a thank you from you either. I saved your life before too, you know. Well, fine. You don't have to say it. I know that you love me. Who said anything about loving you? Oh, you don't remember? When we were at Soas, you were saying, Mizuki! Mizuki! You sounded really concerned. I wasn't saying Mizuki. I was saying my new skis. You know, I was thinking about hitting the slopes later. <laughs> nice cover. Date, you're a total sundere. A sundere. One who appears cold or hostile initially, but eventually shows a warm or friendly side. That describes Date perfectly. So, um, when that line came up, uh, Chris Fayella, again, doesn't watch anime, so when the, when I said, you're such a sundere, or whatever, uh, Chris was like, what? What is that? How does this make sense? And so I had to tell him what a sundere meant. <laughs> it was funny. I don't want to hear it coming from you two. What? What do you mean? They really don't see it, huh? Doesn't matter. Let's get going. Wait. You know. This is not the timeline for the sequel. We're gonna go. You'll see. We're too. we're we did not do. Really? You're not allowed to do the true ending until you finish all the other endings. Mizuki route. Well, that's the thing, is that Chris Fiala doesn't really direct anime, he directs video games. And he doesn't really watch anime. So we're there. See, this is where all the branches come off. We're gonna go back to this one. 
And we're gonna begin to sink again. Okay, I gotta put my birdies to bed though. Come on. Thank you. Let's put you both to bed. Can you please take me with you? As long as I have Wi-Fi, I don't need anything else. Sorry, we can't have pets. Hm. Cold-hearted old man. Is this a cold storage warehouse? Seems to be. Not a manga cafe? Or an otaku shop? No, but a warehouse is a commonly used location in live-action dramas. You know a lot. Predicting this, I did some research on Ota's taste. I see. By the way, are you smaller? Either that or Okay, so now smaller. we're gonna go down a different route. Hey, that's... We're gonna go down Ota's route. Iris is about to be Stop right there! The heavens call, the earth cries out! The crowds roar, all calling on me to strike back against evil. Hold on, Tessa. I will save you. Yeah! <laughs> Still good. I will protect Tessa. Uh, is this from the stream we saw earlier? This is Oto's memory of it. It appears to be a bit exaggerated. All right. Let's help reproduce the memory. Somnium scan! Activate! Yep, it's Zach's time. when we know so Sejima is the killer, right? We'll, we'll find out. We actually already know this part. I'm just going to skip that. And it's going to start out the same. We're going to go to the icy floor. The ice on the and we're going to lie down in it, just like we did before. Bunga. <laughs> I still think that's super funny that she says that. Those who don't fight won't survive. And we know what happens here, so I'm gonna skip that. Now, if you play this game yourself, I highly suggest doing all of the other options in the game because there's so many references to different uh, anime out there. I believe there's a Yuri on Ice reference in, in this with the ice thing there. There's a Sailor Moon reference. There, uh, people have been pointing out common common Rider reference. Like there is tons of anime references in this eye, this, uh, like this Somnium specifically because it's Ota and Ota is an otaku. So yeah. I suppose we have no choice but to find the glory of victory. Yeah, whatever that is. Um, so we're gonna come to this plate. A plate attached to the shelf. The Agent cold Dante, is frosted over it. We're gonna breathe on it. But then something strange happened. What's happening? It's an A for A set! What is this? We're out of options! Tessa! This 
was another, I would have died already. Next time, you will get me. That's just destiny. And now we're going down a completely different route. Blinded by the light. Yep. No, I will fight destiny and win. So he says. I'm the one who has to help him. We have to make Hero of Justice Ota fight back and look cool. That's right. Him. So. There is something over there. I'm not worried about all of the extras in this game right now because I already platinumed the game. <laughs> the last time I played it. Forklift! A forklift? What? Sorty? This is Ota's world, Yep, right? the knife came up in the, the Mizuki route Ota's a little bit, Ota's but not as much as it does in this route. Lousy Ota. Thanks to him, my image as a cool intellectual has been destroyed. <laughs> All systems green. Synchronization rate, 6%. Now, cargo handling car. Forklift! Sorty! Hey, Forklift! Fork over that weapon now! Oh, Ota. Zach had so much fun doing this. I know it. I can tell. I... I can't stand. I'm weak. Did he really help Iris like that? We have no choice but to have Ota do it. We need him to stand up. That's right, we do. But yeah, if you play with all these other things, there's so many other um, things that will actually like that that are really funny in this in this Somnium. Ota is still down. We're gonna motivate. Don't be scared. Stand up. Don't beg for it. Earn it. Do it, and you'll be rewarded. That's right. The ghost inside me whispered. That's right. I can't be scared now. I have to stand up. Now count up your sins. Uh, there. Why? Not uh, well. Oops. So in this one, we don't see It's not exactly the same thing. We get different stuff. Sorry that I had to get rough with you, kid. Seriously, dude? Come on. So sorry, Ota. Date told me to be the bad cop. I did not. <laughs> temper, temper. Whatever. Anyway, Ota, I have some things I want to ask That's you. That's right. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Let me get right down to it. Your mother, Mayumi Matsushita, was at the warehouse, wasn't she? Uh, what are you talking about? Was she there? Why would she be? That happened at 3 a.m. She was at home asleep. Are you sure? Then why did we find evidence at the crime scene? Evidence? Sure, it might not prove she was there, but it makes it likely. The evidence is... Uh, the floral pattern kitchen knife? The polar bear dropped the weapon in Ota's Somnium. 
It was the floral pattern kitchen knife. On the handle were the words, Mom, I love you always. Date. From this, we can conclude that the knife... I know. Oh, that's not relevant. Then it would be the Od Odoroki chocolate. The Odoroki man chocolate. The same one I showed you at the hospital. I found it in the corner of the cold storage warehouse. Mm -hmm. So? That doesn't prove anything. Mayumi's fingerprints were on the package. What? You have a bad poker face, Ota. Your reaction tells me Mayumi didn't give this to you and you dropped it on your own. That information is confirmed. Ota's fingerprints were not found on the package. Mom isn't the killer! I didn't say that she was. I'm saying that she was at the scene. And so are you. Wait a minute. Why do you think Mayumi isn't the killer, Ota? Because I was face to face with that polar bear when we fought. I could tell it wasn't my mom, even through the costume. And no matter what happened, there's no way that my mom would stab me. That's true. Why are you covering for her? Covering? That's why you're lying to me, right? I'm not. Are you sure about that? You must have seen direct evidence of Mayumi being at the warehouse. But you're hiding that from us. Or maybe even you're starting to suspect her. I am not. Sure. What are you accusing me of anyway? What do you think I'm hiding? This one. Yeah, that's right. The kitchen knife with the floral pattern. Mom, I love you always. It's carved on the handle. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. You were stabbed by that very same knife. Yup. How do you know that? The criminal ran away with the knife. No one was supposed to see it. I knew it. No, my mom didn't do it. Then why did you not mention the kitchen knife earlier? Mm -hmm. Because I know how it looks. I thought mom would get accused. And then she would have been brought in here and interrogated. I didn't want to put her through that. And... And? Mom never liked Tessa. So maybe... Just maybe... So another fun fact about this is that, um... Uh, again, if... If it's not relevant to what we need to know on our side as the actor in our character, we're not told anything. So for the longest time, I was sitting there being like, oh, is the worst. Oh, is the worst, right? And you'll see why it's even, like in this Somnium, you really see why Oat is kind of an asshole. Actually, really an asshole. But like even before this Somnium, or, or like in this in this storyline, I, I was always like, oh, is the worst. And Jackie, who plays, um, who plays Iris, was like, no, Ota's so cute. I want Ota and Iris to end up together. And I was like, why? By the way, that was my Jackie impression. Um, and she's like, because they're, like, he really loves her and really tries hard. And I'm like, um, Jackie, no, this guy is the worst. And then she played through this Somnium and was like, okay, he's awful. <laughs> So Mom yeah, in this storyline, we we see more. And she gave them that kitchen knife. I don't about know. Ota. I thought of it that way. <laughs> like that would ever happen. I know it sounds crazy, but after I saw that knife, I just lost it. Hmm. Please, you have to believe me. Mom isn't a serial killer. I yeah, hang out with Jackie a lot, so I kind of take a lot of pride in my Jackie impression. I do. <laughs> I don't think it's possible for Mayumi to have kidnapped Iris, because... Oh, wait, what was it? Why couldn't Mayumi have kidnapped Iris? Two cars? And this? This. This. Oh. Apparently that's why. The Matsushita's van was stolen from the parking lot of the Femista while Iris was in the car. 
That was yesterday, 10.32 p.m. One minute later at the 8.12, which was about 100 yards away, Mayumi bought the Odoroki man chocolate. She entered the 8.12 about a minute earlier. This was all caught on security cameras at the store. That means it's impossible that Mayumi could have taken the van. And that means that Mayumi being the polar bear is Oh, no, I agree with you. I am not an Ota mm. fan at all, and I don't... Mm, no, However, but, like, Jackie at first was like, clearer. No, I want, I want Ota and Iris to end herself, up together. She could have hired someone to commit the crime. And I was like, Jackie, no. But that was... Jackie, no. In any case, I Jackie, need to hear no. from Mayumi herself. And, and she was like, he's really cute, though, and does a lot of things for Iris. Jackie, no. I'm going to head to my <laughs> diner. And then again, what? played through this hey, timeline, and then she's like, okay, Don't he's worry. <laughs> I'm not going there to arrest her. I'm going there to clear her of suspicion. Really? Yes. You won't arrest her? Your mother wouldn't kill anyone. Right, Ota? Thank you, Date. Sorry for the late night, Miss Matsushita, but I have some questions I need to ask you. Could you spare some time? I finally remembered about the warehouse. Mm -hmm. I did it. I did everything. Uh-oh. Ma'am. <laughs> I didn't do this last night because I wanted to give you a chance to calm down. How are you, now that you've slept on it? What are you talking about? I'll be honest. I don't think you're the killer. You're giving us a false mm -hmm. confession. No, it's true. I kidnapped that witch, I took her to the warehouse, and... Put her on the table and pulled her eyeball out? Yes. And the polar bear costume? I bought it through mail order. And you were the one wearing it? Yes, that's right. Date, the criminal has confessed. Arrest her immediately. You got to the top of Abyss acting like that? I heard that she used to be an actress. <laughs> Sounds about right. Um. Well, here's the thing, Chris. Jackie also didn't know about the whole, like, making a multiple Twitter thing. Because, again, we, uh, we're only told what is, what is, uh, um, important for our characters. Iris doesn't know it, so Jackie didn't know it. Because that whole multiple Twitter thing only came up in front of Date. So, Jackie doesn't, didn't know about that. And then she learned about that. She was still trying to fight for for Ota at that point. She was still trying to be like, well, and I was like, no. And then and then yeah, she played through this timeline, and we we see a lot more about Ota and uh, how he is to his mom. So yeah. Anyways, my son is under that witch's spell. Merchandise, concerts. She's bleeding him dry. I wanted to snap him out of it. I wanted to save him. I mean, she has motive. Because I... I just hated her so much. Killing her I don't think Me Mayumi also knows that if she uh, uh, confesses to this murder, she's also implicating herself in several other murders right now, so... Oh, yeah, uh, Chris, no, yeah, that still didn't tip her off. She was still trying to, she was like, she was like, well, that's weird, but it's kind of sweet. And I was like, Jackie, no, Jackie, no. Anyways. Because the world needs to see that witch die. Just a quick question, Mayumi. Do you know anything about online streaming? I'm not stupid. I might be old, but... Could you explain it to me? Fill a uh, sampler. Step by step. Just tell me what you did. I, I can't explain it in words. 
This was my first time working with Philly Sampler. I was able to get it working after trying a few times, that's all. And the only time I got to work with Felice Sampler. Um, she died last year, unfortunately. <sighs> that sucked. Anyways. She's an amazing I actress. And she does garbage. an amazing job at this role. Which garbage? Excuse, excuse me. She does an amazing job remember. in this role. It's true. I planned the whole thing. Well, uh, you Jackie does need a class today. on red flags for that sure. Means you <laughs> I love Jackie. Yes, I, I stabbed him with the knife I brought from home. I, I wasn't trying to hurt him. He fought me, and then it just... What do you know about the Cyclops killer? We call the criminal we're after the new Cyclops killer. I know. They killed Shoko Nadami and Renju Okura. That's right. Both corpses were found with their left eye pulled out. Same as Iris. This leads us to believe that the crimes were all committed by the same person. So this person in the polar bear costume, they are the new Cyclops killer. And you're telling me, that person is you? You killed Choco and Renju? Yes, I killed them. Oh! Isn't Rinju Okura the president of that awful company where the witch works? Well, she's got a point. He's just as responsible. Using her to steal time and money from vulnerable kids. And I'm sure he was uh, debaucherous and degenerate. That man is the root of all evil. Is he now? That's why I killed him. Okay, I mean... Sure. Rinju's ex-wife, right? I did it to get to him. But the two divorced four years yeah. ago. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't matter. The bonds of matrimony are eternal. In your sure. opinion, I don't think Renju felt the same way. Uh, you are really starting to aggravate me. I answered your questions, so there. I don't remember. What do you mean you don't remember? Do you really think that lie is gonna work? I, I have a memory disorder. I don't always remember everything. That is true, it's she does have a memory fault. disorder. But you remember the cold storage warehouse. She's suffering from dementia. There are times I remember and times I don't remember. It changes. Date, Mayumi is not lying about that in particular. There are circumstances that might cause selective mm -hmm. memory. For whatever reason, her memory might not have been stored properly in her mind. This is not uncharacteristic for those suffering from dementia. I am not lying. You do know that perjury is a crime, right? I'm telling you, I'm not lying. I killed Shoko and Rinju, and I tried to cut that demon witch in half. Date, there's no point in letting this go. She's clearly lying. You seemed convinced earlier. I was kidding. I don't think she's the killer. I am the killer! I am! Right now, we have to rely on hard evidence. The Odoroki Man chocolate that Mayumi bought was found at the warehouse. If Mayumi was at the scene before Ota... She may have seen the criminal's face. True. You know what I'm going to say, right? Date, sink with her. We're gonna sink! Computer, we're going to sync with Mayumi Matsushita. Prepare the machine. Yeah, um, prepare it. Well, what happened? The sync machine isn't operating to capacity. Yesterday's sync, well, suffice to say, uh, Ota and Date were not too compatible. Compatible? 
I'll give you the big picture. To get the synchronization working properly, I had to push the machine pretty hard. And now, it's not responding. Well, that sucks. How long will it take to fix? 16 hours, at least. You got five. You've got eight. Oh, eight. But that's impossible. Shut up. <laughs> so we can't sink yet, huh? <laughs> That we need to, or this they tried everything but the kitchen nowhere. sink. I like that. I like that joke. Date, I suggest we go to Matsushita Diner. We may be able to find some clues. Good idea. Pewter, we're counting on you for those repairs. I'll be back in six hours. But you said eight. <laughs> Please, you have to give me at least eight. That Pewter, always so humble. He'll have it done in six. <laughs> yeah, Pewter is just that kind of guy. I don't think yeah. it works like that, guys. Hey, this is a hostile work environment. Mm. Why would Mayumi lie? She is probably protecting someone. Yeah. But who? Surely you know by now. Probably Ota. There is only one person Mayumi would want to protect that badly. It's Ota. It has to be. Does Mayumi think Ota is the killer? Last night, Ota left Matsushita Diner with Iris. Mayumi saw the whole thing. But Ota was stabbed in the stomach by the mm -hmm. culprit. Does Mayumi not remember that? No, that isn't quite it. It is possible that she thinks Ota is responsible for everything. She thinks Ota stabbed himself? Yes. Why would he do that? To look like a hero. I explain, I would like to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the possibility that Ota is the new Cyclops? I think killer? it's ridiculous. Possible. Why? Yesterday's Somnium, Ota and the Polar Bear. That was just a dream. It doesn't necessarily reflect what... Iris had her left eye pulled out. Ota would never do that. Have you considered that she pulled it out herself? What? Or even asked Ota to do it. Perhaps she ordered him to. The van was stolen while Iris was in the passenger seat. We know that whoever did it is the culprit we're looking mm -hmm. for. There is a chance that Iris was not in the passenger seat. She could have been driving. How so? Iris could have taken the wheel herself and driven to the warehouse. That's true. But forensics only found Ota's fingerprints on the wheel. That can be explained. It is possible that Iris covered her fingertips with her sleeves. In short, Ota and Iris are accomplices. This was all a performance. A performance? But Karina, Iris we know that Sosajima did it. Do we? Ota Do we know that Sosajima did it? They went to the warehouse separately. Then they prepared the live stream. Iris anesthetized her left eye and removed it. Either that, or she asked Ota to extract it. After that, Iris took her position on the table, and Ota donned the polar bear costume and started the saw. Consider this. In the stream, Ota and the polar bear were never on screen at the same That's time. That's true. True. That means Ota went off camera, took off the costume, and then... Stay away from Tessa! Perhaps Mayumi witnessed the entire event. It is also possible that Mayumi knew what the two were up to. So she lied to protect Ota. Yes. By the way, but there is only, only one killer. Um, I do want to point that out. Even in the different timelines, it is the same killer every time. That does not change. Consider the possibility that Iris killed Shoko and Renju. Then, this whole thing was to get her off the suspects list. 
That's why she pulled Remember out how eye suspicious I, uh, Iris was? It makes it look like there's another criminal involved. I will repeat myself in saying that this is only a theory. It is one of many possibilities. It's possible, but I don't think it's very likely. Yep, they only one killer. Far, just to avoid suspicion. And it's the That's same right. in every timeline. Must consider the mental state of the serial killer. Shoko and Renju were both exposed and displayed. And they both had their left eye removed while they were still mm -hmm. alive. Whoever our killer is, it is clear that they are sociopathic or even psychotic. We can't rule anything out. Why are you... He's crying. Why did you arrest Mom? You said you were gonna clear her! Why? Poor Zack! I wanna kick Greg's ass. You made Zack cry and he's like a brother to me. Doing okay? Okay? How could I be okay? I got stabbed by a serial killer. Easy, kid. You're gonna open up your stitches. Huh. Why are you here? When I was in the hospital, the police came to me. They told me that my mom confessed. I couldn't believe it, so I went to the police station. But because she was under investigation, they wouldn't let me see her. After that, I didn't feel like going back to the hospital. That's why I'm here. You asked me why your mom was arrested earlier, but she isn't under arrest. What? I spoke with her as part of my investigation, yes. But as a source of valuable information, not as a suspect. Ayumi confessed, but it's highly likely that she's lying. So we haven't issued a warrant for her arrest. That's what I've been saying! Mom didn't do it, she's innocent! Word is going around. Maybe Iris was the one who killed Shoko and Renju. Maybe. And you and her planned this warehouse incident to get her off our suspects list. Way. Tessa had her eye. She could have pulled it out herself or asked you to do it. You're kidding me, right? Do you really think I would do that? I was fighting for my life against the criminal. That wasn't caught on camera, though. Neither was the part where you got stabbed. You're saying that I stabbed myself? Maybe. It wouldn't be the first time you fake something. Would it, Ota? Yeah. I'm telling you, I didn't! Then why is Mayumi protecting you? Mom is protecting me? Your mother is stubborn. She's lying to us because she's protecting someone. The only person I can think of would be you. Why? Apparently she thinks that you're the criminal. Why would she think that? Your guess is as good as mine. Got any ideas? Maybe because of her condition. Mom has... dementia. Maybe her memory is just mixed up. Ever 
everything is my fault. It's because of me that Mom is... I know how it looks now, but back in the day, the diner was doing pretty good. You know Bloom Park is close by here, right? People who visited the park would stop here a lot. But ever since the explosion eight years ago... EXPLOSION! The chemical plant accident? Yeah. We're just barely outside of the restricted area, but... Because Bloom Park closed, the number of customers dropped by a lot. The diner didn't last much longer. When this place closed, Dad started working at a Chinese restaurant chain during the day. And he was a security guard and traffic cop at night. Mom worked as a janitor. They were both working hard and barely got any sleep. And you? I was just a high school student at the time. I was... such a dumbass. I thought it was totally normal to have both parents working, so I didn't even get a part-time job. And they bought me a PC, and idol concert tickets. They buy you all that I shit! good, but we were drowning in debt. Boy! And there's a loan on the house and the diner. Mom and Dad didn't let this place go. There are too many memories here to give it up. So they slaved day and night to keep it open. Worked and worked and worked. Thanks to them, I was even able to go to a good university, but right after I started, Dad... Passed away? Yeah, he had a heart attack. From overwork. But even then, I didn't get it, you know? I didn't appreciate how hard they worked for me. Even when I wasn't taking college seriously and getting bad grades, my mom didn't say a thing. She just smiled I'd smack and him. told me that it was I don't okay. even approve of hitting your children you know except her, for going him. To drop out. <laughs> you shouldn't hit your children unless they're Mom, Ota and getting bad grades in college, college that you're paying for while working what? like 40 billion jobs. Why do you want to do that, Ota? I decided that I'm going to become a writer. Wow. A writer. Well, that's a good goal to have. But you really should finish college. You work so hard to get in. <sighs> you don't understand, Mom. A writer has to put all of their time into their creativity. I won't have time to go to classes. Plus, I'm friends with the editor of a publishing company. Okay, and? I'm definitely going to have my first book published. That means nothing. Is that right? Well, okay. Why can't you go to college so. and write your book? I won't stop you. You can do both. Do what makes you happy. You'll turn out just fine. I know you can do it. Jesus, this mother. And no matter what happens, Mom will always be on your side, okay? Forever and ever. I'll always support you, Ota. Yes. Yeah. It was really just a few texts back and forth, but I was thrilled. Boy. I thought I could make it as a writer because of oh that. Oh my god. But it's impossible. I know there's no way I can be a writer. I've never even finished writing a novel, not even once. I always give up after the first five thousand words. To even apply for the amateurs contest, you have to submit ten times that. Yeah, dude. But mom. She still, she kept supporting me. Why? Oh boy. Not long after I quit college, mom was always smiling at me. But I think she was starting to slip mentally one day. Oh, what's wrong, Oda? Do you have the day off from school? Are you being sarcastic? Oh, right. You don't attend anymore. Oopsie. I totally forgot. How can you forget your own son's career choice? Sorry, sorry. Anyway, are you hungry? You haven't eaten anything since this morning, have you? Are you kidding? What? I ate breakfast and lunch already. Why are you yelling at your mother? Oh, did you? Uh, by the way, Ota, what's living at the dorms like? Why are you making fun of me? I'm not teasing you, honey. Don't fuck with me! 
Ooh, he said the fuck word. But also, why are you screaming at your mom like that? She didn't even say it in like a bad tone or anything. Ugh. Oh, just the worst. Mom got sick because I'm such a piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, you are. I was only thinking about myself. I didn't take care of her. It was so stupid. I didn't realize she was sick. I thought she was messing with me. I was so cruel to her for no reason. Mm -hmm. And she got worse. You are bad and you should feel bad. What's that picture? Oda turned to photo frame. Looking at this photo reminds me. One time, when I was a kid, I said something really bad to mom and dad. And they scolded me for it. And it's not like it was an apology or anything. But dad and I gave her a Mother's Day gift. My mom was so happy that she cried. That's what this photo is from. Why did it turn out like this? I'm such a bad you son. You are. You actively are a bad son. I don't usually I say don't. that. Usually it's the parents that are just really what shitty parents. But like, uh, no, you're a bad person. But I can't imagine that this guy's the criminal. He's not. Why is that? I don't even say that because it's a spoiler. Story, it's just obvious. Think that he's not such a bad guy. Your presumption is illogical. Human beings are logical. We're not like you AI. We can't be logical all the time. You mean you're not autistic? But Why can't you just do that? A very important way. <laughs> What's that? Eddie, Eddie said something to me and he was like, do people don't do that, Karina. And I'm like, I do that. And he's like, you're autistic. That doesn't count. And I'm like, Ima, wow. Let's <laughs> go back to the cold storage warehouse. And he's like, I don't mean you don't count as a you person. I mean, you something. don't count as neurotypical because you're not neurotypical. And I was like, <sighs> okay, that's that. fair. Cold storage warehouse. Let's go. Oh no, Zach did an amazing job. Cause Zach's a great actor. Uh, Ota is just a terrible person. But that's how you know oh, Zach did a really good job. You're not supposed to like. Dotson, there are characters that you're you just not to supposed to like. I was, but a thought occurred to me. Iba, are you sure that Ota took this car? As I've already explained, the security cameras at the Famisto parking lot saw the entire incident clearly. So it was definitely Ota who drove it here. Why are you stating the obvious? Iba, who drove the van here? There are two possibilities. Either Iris or the criminal who kidnapped mm -hmm. Iris. And Mayumi? Considering the time that she purchased the chocolate, that would be almost impossible. The How did Mayumi get to the, from the warehouse then? parking lot at 10:32 p.m. At that time, Mayumi was in the 812 convenience store more than 100 yards away. We found the chocolate Mayumi bought on the floor of the cold storage warehouse. But that doesn't prove she was actually at the scene. If she was, how did she get here? She wasn't in the van or the station wagon. Of course. A different car. I will search for all vehicles that were in this area from Sunday night to Monday morning. End system server. Whatever an end system server is. Found one hit. A taxi. Oh! Where is that taxi now? It is parked in Lemniscate's parking lot. At Lemniscate? Why? Unknown. But we should speak with the driver immediately. Let's go. Hey, got a minute? Hmm. Are you talking to moi? Date, now is not the time to be distracted by this old man's diction. <laughs> Mind if I ask you what you're doing here? 
Moi, I am but a humble taxi cab driver. There we go. I'm with the police. I have some questions for you. Where are you from? I was born in Kawago, Saitama. And why do you talk like that? I don't know what you mean. I've spoken this way all my life. My parents speak with the same vernacular. I have just finished conveying my client from Tameke Sano's studio. I was informed that the visit here would be brief, and thus I have decided to wait in this lobby. So we showed a picture of Mayumi. Did you drive this passenger on Sunday night? Oh, I did indeed. I remember her well. The old hag. Why would you call her that? I took her on a tour of the streets of Tokyo. Our ultimate destination was the warehouse district in Ariake. Why didn't you report this to the police? Report it? You don't know about the incident at the cold storage warehouse? It was all over the news. No, I'm afraid not. Newspapers and television news programs have never been much of an interest to moi. Hmm. I recall it was around 10 in the evening. Near the Kawasaki District, an unassuming restaurant named Matsushita Diner. That's where I picked up the old hag. And as soon as she stepped foot in my I'm gonna slap him if he calls her an old hag again. Orders at me. Follow that man, hurry! I must admit, I found it rather exciting, just like an old chase film. I, of course, insisted that I be paid up front. We pursued the van for roughly half an hour. Suddenly, the van came to a halt at a convenience store. The Femisto along Koshu, right? Precisely right. I am surprised you know that. In any case, I knew that the jig would be up if we were seen following the van. So I decided to drive past it. I parked at the 8 store, but 100 yards from mm -hmm. there, while waiting for the object of our pursuit to make its next move. The old hag suddenly spoke up. I have to buy something, she declared, then made her way into the 8. This must be when Mayumi bought the Odoroki Man mm -hmm. chocolate. A few minutes later, the old hag finished making her purchases and walked out. And then, at that very moment, I witnessed the van jet off at great speed down Koshu. I hurried the old hag inside my vehicle, then resumed the chase. We followed them for roughly half an hour more. I see. If the driver's story is correct, Mayumi did not know that Oto was left behind at the Femisto. Right. Mayumi thought Oto was in the van the whole time. Mm -hmm. We then arrived at a splendid manor. The van entered the premises through the front gate and disappeared from view. We, of course, could not follow, so we waited outside. Okay. I estimate another 10 minutes passed. The front gate opened once again, and the van drove out, and we pursued. But Hi. 30 minutes later, our pursuit was foiled again. So we showed what up happened? at a manor. Who the lives at a really fancy the house in this game? Kawasaki district. The old hag, of course, demanded that I follow. But I was not about to risk my license and livelihood. Instead, I parked on the road and waited for the van to drive back the way it came. Ah, but of course, we knew it might not take the same road back. So in it went fact, back to we that district. Sure the van would be coming the... back at all. But the old hag was not keen on giving up, so we began our stakeout. I should get paper and write all this down. Hold on. So, what we know so far in the game <laughs> is. Uh, Mizuki's mom, Shoko, dead. She dead now. Then, Renju, dead. He dead now. When Renju died, Aset was hanging out with him. Around the time that he died. We know that. 
because she was seen by Ota hanging around, right? Um, then this stuff happens. Mayumi follows Aset to a manor. Then, Aset goes to Restricted District. Then they go to the warehouse. How do I spell warehouse? I don't know. Well, it's spelled wrong, but I don't care. Not the point. Boom! We got a timeline! <laughs> I did do this last time! About 45 minutes later, the date had changed at this point. It was 12.25 a.m. on Monday. How do you remember the time so well? Well, you see, I always keep my radio dial on the same station. I remember precisely which programs were playing during this mm -hmm. endeavor. Thus, I can approximate the time. I see. At 12.25 a.m., the old hag's tenacious gamble paid dividends. The van returned down the same street. And thus, we again made pursuit. I kept considerable distance. We had come so far, I did not want to get caught True. now. But my caution backfired. I lost sight of the van in the RARK warehouses. Without so much as a thank you, the old hag popped open the door and took off toward the warehouses. I waited for some time, but the old hag did not return. The goose was cooked at this point, so I made the decision to return home. I am glad I had the foresight to ask for payment in advance. One more question. I follow your story. I have one more question. Where is this manor the van stopped at? Oh. Every taxi driver in the city knows that residence. Do we know? It is the personal home of Congressman It's Congressman So's Sojima. Sojima. house! Sojima? Why did the van go to So's house? We need to speak with him immediately. Agreed. Let's move. So So is definitely still involved. Sajima. There's no one here. Indeed. I don't see So or his bodyguards. I do not detect them either. Let's go inside. Weird. Hey, Aiba. Do you smell something funny? You are aware that I do not possess the sense of smell, correct? Oh, right. There's something strange about this vase. Ugh. What is it? This is definitely where the smell is coming from. Is there something inside? Maybe, but the opening is covered by a metal plate. The lid is fixed with a bolt. It will not open easily. Yeah. Then, as is standard procedure, what the? Date, destroy the vase. Got it. Well, <laughs> so remember when we thought Sosajima was the killer? He's dead now. Sojima's dead. So, so we have the wrong Jima. killer in the in Mizuki's route. That is the head of Sojima. Left eye is hollowed out. 
This is most likely a crime committed by the new Cyclops killer. Yep. Do you have an estimated In Mizuki's time? route, we have the wrong Today, killer. Sometime between 11 a.m. and noon. That's about when I was talking to Ota at Matsushita Diner. There's only one killer. At that time, yes. Mayumi was in police custody and Iris was in the ICU of Central Hospital. They have not moved. <laughs> that means Ota, Mayumi, and Iris couldn't possibly have committed the crime. Assuming that this is the work of a single killer, those three can be eliminated from the list of suspects. Ota, Mayumi, and Iris are not the new Cyclops. No, they are not. Right. It's not Iris, it's not Ota, it's not Mayumi. By the way, why is there no one in the mansion? No bodyguards, no housekeepers. I do not know. Does So have family? So Sejima's wife died in labor 30 years ago, giving birth to their son. So he does have His a son. son. Is currently living abroad. So lived here alone? And remember in, in Mizuki's timeline, no, So just... said, you killed by your father to Date? So Sejima? Date, a call from Pewter. Connect me. Date's father? Date, the sick machine is up and running. Sync with Mayumi now. Oh, thanks, Pewter. Question there mark? There are more pressing matters now. Did something happen? Yeah, I found so much. What if Sejima's it's boss? Mm, what if the it's boss? Hollowed out. What? I'm at the Sejima household. Send the investigation team over. What if it's Pewter? Why so? I can answer your question. What if this is a heavy rain situation and it's Date? Date, what is your plan? Wait until crime scene investigation arrives. No, there's something I need to do. Oh, spoilers for those who don't play, didn't truth. play Heavy Rain, Mayumi but I had it spoiled for yesterday. me, so, you know. And we know the chocolate we found at the scene was hers. Maybe she saw something. Maybe she knows something we don't. Some but, kind of guys, So's blood the was found at the yeah. scene of the crime. That is true. Yeah. But We're he's not the Mayumi. killer. So's blood was found at the scene of the crime at the warehouse, but he's not the killer. What if it's Karina? You know, it definitely could be me. That's what it was like at, in the Among Us streams. It was always me. Yeah, then who? Then who is it? What if it's Paimon? It's definitely Paimon. very moment the media is already swarming outside the building really doesn't matter how the is it is not him important. exactly how if is it not to mayumi's brain that might help us find the real culprit i understand are you ready yeah then let's begin all right let's sync with mayumi We do learn what happens if you stay synced after six minutes eventually in this game, but you gotta keep watching or keep play it yourself to find out. Oh, silly me. This is my house. Huh? Uh, what happened to me? This is Matsushita Diner, though it looks odd. Likely an effect of the dementia. Android 18. Do you think such a thing can be done? This diner means everything to Mayumi. If we do what we did last time and reproduce the actions from Mayumi's memories... Oh, this, this Somnium is super sad. Everything. Is this what you call your intuition? Told you it was useful. Well, if we must... Somnium scan! Activate!
Okay, so we got a mental thing going on. We got a calendar here. A calendar. Today's date is. The calendar reads two months ago. A wall clock. The hands have stopped. The sliding door at the entrance. Who could that? Um, welcome back. Welcome back. There it is. Welcome back, Otak. You're late today. I'm home. Are you not hungry? Today's dinner is omelet rice. Your omelet favorite. rice. Dad isn't back yet, but you can start eating. Again? I'm okay. I ate already. But... I'm fine. Why are you being a jerk to your mom? She made you food. Oh, the time on the wall changed. Part of the diner has manifested. Maybe this is one of the memories she forgot. It must be important to Good night, Feisty Geisty. It looks like a sad memory. It doesn't matter if it's sad. It's still important. Let's come up with a new menu. Sauteed matsutake and shiitake mushrooms. The Matsushita set meal. 3,980 yen. What do you think? I'm leaning toward no. Oh. Damn it, that was not it. Oh? It's the phone. Maybe try picking it up? Roger. Husband. Yes, Matsushita Diner. Yes. Well, yes. Yes. Oh no! This what? is when she found out that his, her husband my died. Husband. Why? How could this happen? Diner has changed again. However, these memories aren't all happy, but they are all significant. Mm -hmm. If this continues, will it not have a negative effect on Mayumi? Maybe. But we have to see this through. Yeah, we do. We have to. Understood. There's something on my TV. Anyways. Agent Dante, you've got four minutes. There's cake. A delicious cake. I wonder who it's for. Congratulations, Ota! Congratulations, Ota! I'm home! Ota! Congratulations on getting into the university, son! <laughs> Congratulations! Hooray! Congrats! So there is a turtle Pokemon in Pokemon Sword and Shield that looks exactly like Ota's dad. I forgot what the turtle's Pokemon name is, but yeah. Like Chewtle. Ota was quite the spoiled child, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Definitely had a lot of growing up. And to he do. wasn't appreciative of it at all. So important to Mayumi. I see. It's a 
an envelope. Some kind of mail? This is a bank statement. The Matsushita family. Oh, this is how they're in debt. Let's do our best. Supporting Ota. Okay, we'll work harder for Ota's dream. under a heavy burden of debt and stress running the mm -hmm. diner. That's true. But sometimes hardship is worth it. Is that so? You have three minutes, Dante. It's a sticker from a chocolate candy. Mm -hmm. Welcome home! Did you get it for me? It? This is... Oto when he was small? Chocolate? Yeah, Odoroki man, remember? Oh, that! Yes, of course I mm -hmm. bought it. Look, the Momonoki man chocolate that you like. Here you go. That's not it. Oh, honey, I thought you liked the Momonoki man chocolate. No, I told you. It's Odoroki man. Um, oh. again, I, I so, don't support slapping children. Sometimes. I don't support that. Except for this. This is the one time, I think. Mm. You're not just a dummy, you're a super dummy idiot! I forgot oh, he said that. You're right, sweetie. I'm sorry. I'm a big I don't dummy. support slapping I'll children. Buy you a real I don't. Man I soon. don't. Stupid. It's not Momonoki man. It's Odoroki man. I hate this. I hate you, mom. What? Wait, Ota. Uh, uh, where did you go? I don't support slapping children. Uh, uh, please, come out from hiding, Ota. Ota, I'm sorry. Mommy won't make any mistakes anymore, Ota. Ota, come back! Ota! on my own. Don't leave me! So that's what happened. Date, look at what you've done. If Mayumi wakes up after all this trauma... I know it's risky, but we're here for a reason. What are you planning? We have to keep going. Just a little more to awaken her past. But... If she loves her family this much, there has to be something. There has to be a precious memory hidden deep within. It's when she got is the knife, isn't it? You're into... It is. Yeah. 
when she got the knife. A wall clock. Which would be after this moment. Sweetie! Mom! I... Uh, uh, I... Uh. Huh. We know we can be a hassle sometimes, so... Huh. Onta! Yeah. This is the one time he was a good kid! Thank you, Mom. <laughs> that was when she got her apron and her knife to match. You no, know, I... I love you. Forever and ever. Me too, Ota. I love you both so much. I'll love you both no matter what. Dude, this just makes me want to cry. Like, I know I've played through this before. Mayumi's like the perfect example of like what a mom should be, like loving no, no loving her kid no matter what. Like unconditional love that a parent should have. Yeah, we are a family. We can do anything. Just yes. Yeah. Looks like it's okay to go back now. Yes, I agree. By the way, Gato. Hmm? I admit, it is useful every now and then. What is? Your intuition. It's so sad. <laughs> Mayumi is the best mom in the world, and yet she has a shitty son. She works so hard for that kid. I'm so sorry for worrying you. What do you mean? Your mother retracted her confession. Oh, I'm so glad. Yes, yes. But mom, why did you think I did it? About that. I explained to Ota. On Sunday night, Mayumi was following the van driven, um, driven by Ota in a taxi. But when the van has hijacked at the Famiso parking lot, Mayumi was at another convenience store nearby buying some chocolate. Because of that, she didn't see what happened. That's why Mayumi thought Ota was still in the van when they drove away. So she kept following it. The van drove all over Tokyo. And eventually wound up in the warehouse district near the docks. Mayumi got out of the taxi, followed the van on foot. The van was later found at the Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Mayumi walked into the warehouse and discovered the grisly scene. A polar bear plucking out Iris's left eye? So that's what she saw. I was so terribly frightened. I panicked and ran. I'm sure that's when I dropped the chocolate. 
and I ran away from the warehouse as fast as I could. I just kept running and running. But while I was running, I had a thought. Maybe that polar bear was Ota. Because at the time, I thought Ota was the one driving the van. Mm -hmm. If Ota brought Iris to the warehouse, then Ota must have been the one in the suit. That's what I was thinking anyway. So that's why. I'm so sorry that Mom doubted you, Ota. No, no, I understand. It's my fault for making you worry. Ota. But there's one thing I don't get. Why did you buy that chocolate when you were following me? Oh, because... You liked Odoroki Man chocolate when you were young, right, Ota? Yeah. Yeah. I was like the number one or two collector of the stickers in my elementary school class. I stuck some of my duplicates all around the diner, too. You and Mayumi have strong memories of that chocolate, right? Yeah, but I guess they're not all sweet memories. They're like chocolate, you know? Bittersweet. Makes my heart hurt a little. That's not it! Oh, honey! I thought you liked the Momonoki Man chocolate. No! I told you! It's Odoroki Man! Oh... Sorry. Your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. You're not just a dummy. You're a super dummy idiot! Oh, well... She's right. trying her best, you asshole! Sorry. God! You're a big dummy. You can't have I'll children, you Karina. You can't. I'll buy Man soon. Stupid! It's not Momonoki Man, it's Odoroki Man! After I yelled at her, Mom immediately went to buy me another chocolate. My dad came back from buying some ingredients at the same time, and they ran into each other. My dad really let me Good, have it. Good, you should! I'm glad he did. How dare you speak to your mother like that? Because Mom is stupid. You're stupid to call your mother stupid. Your mother bought you that to make you happy. You need to think about how she feels. I didn't raise you like that. But... When she comes back, you apologize. You understand? My dad told me to apologize as soon as mom came back. But the guilt. I hurt my mother, you know? That guilt in my heart. It didn't go away. Even after I apologized to her. After that... Things got awkward with mom, but a few days later, my dad came up with an idea. Hey, Ota, how about this? You know Mother's Day is coming up. Why don't we get a gift for your mom? Hmm? A gift? That was the first time what I ever heard my dad say something like that. You know how mom always takes care of us. We should think of a way to pay her back. I'm sure my dad was trying to clear the air between all of us. So, on Mother's Day, I used my New Year's money I saved up to buy my mom that flower knife. And my dad saved up a little money to buy the floral apron. And when mom got her gifts, she started bawling. Like, full-on crying. Oh, you boys. She cares about them so much. I don't deserve all this. You deserve everything. <laughs> you deserve the world. You do deserve it, Mom. I'm proud that you're my mom. Right, Dad? Oh, um, uh, yes. Mom is the best mom in the world. Cheese. Hmm. Sorry, I lost track of time. What were we talking about again? The Odoroki Man chocolate. Why she bought the chocolate in the middle of tailing you. Tailing? Mom, 
It could be due to her memory disorder. It is possible that her thought process was once again short-circuited. Ota, I'm just going out on a limb here. Huh? Earlier I looked inside Mayumi's head. Inside? She was thinking of nothing. Her head was full of memories of you. Mayumi just wanted you to come back, Ota. Yeah. So she bought that chocolate. The chocolate you loved as a kid. She thought she could get you back home with it. That's why I believe, in Mayumi's head, you're still young, Ota. Huh? I don't know. I could be wrong. No, you're right, Date. That's why my mom bought the chocolate. She wanted her little kid back. Yeah. I was always so selfish. I made my mom go through such hard times. So from now on, I'm going to support her the way she supported me. I'll do anything. I'll deliver newspapers or be a janitor or anything. I'll work as hard as I can to make sure my mom can rest easy. What about your dream of being an author? Well, of course I'm not going to give up on that. But I'll set my sights a little smaller. I'll start by writing a short story. Let me read it when you're done. Of course. You're finally gonna freaking grow up like you're supposed to? Oh, I forgot to tell you something important. Something important? I heard the nurses talking before I came in here. Iris is awake. R really? Yeah, she's due to be transferred from the ICU to the general ward. Thank God. You saved her life, you know. Maybe. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. See you, kid. Is Iris your girlfriend? Yeah, I'll introduce you next time. Nope, not a girlfriend. Oh my god, why would you lie She's like that? You were doing so well. You were on a great path. Oh, wow. uh, and then you I just lied. Oh no. Is she going to be your financier? Oh, maybe I should clean up a bit first. Financer? Oh, fiance. Oh, yes! Yes, that's it! <laughs> Jeez, <Mom>. Oh, Ota. <laughs> we were so close. So close to getting you to actually, I don't know, be a human being. <laughs> mm. Ota! Date. There are still many loose ends in this Yes, situation. there are. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Looks like another all-nighter. We really have no idea who killed anybody. That's Ota's scene. Um, I'm gonna end my stream here. I think that's a good ending spot so far. Um, we finished two routes. We finished Mizuki's route. Oh wait, we have a little bit more. Hold on, there's a little bit more. Has there been any progress in this Jima investigation? None, zero clue. Not exactly, we have two clues. Two? I'm gonna end my stream after this scene. Of information but they may not connect directly to the murders. What are the two clues? Point one, this may be easier to see than explain. I sent a video to the boss's PC. There's a video. Could you check there, please? Boss went to her desk, moved the mouse. I stood next to her and looked at the monitor. What's this? It's from Sunday night. Yes. After Date was beaten by Ota at Matsushita Diner. Tessa, wait. Uh, I'll get the car. You witch! Right. There, stop it. I noticed this earlier as well. Do you see the walk on the floor beside Iris and Mayumi? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what about it? 
Look closely. The bottom part is curved. Do you notice anything in the reflection? Iris and Mayumi. Yes. I have prepared an enlarged and processed version of the image. Boss, the next video. I'm sorry, Chris. You win it! Okay, so now we're gonna see. Mayumi has a knife. You you stay away from my boy! Uh-huh. Iris took the knife. Tessa! What's wrong? Did something happen? Oh, Iris took the knife. Fine. Okay, let's go. That's how the knife got there. Iris took the knife. Ota. Hey, what's this? Iris has the kitchen knife? Mm -hmm. The video continues, but this should be enough. Iris took the knife and left the diner with Ota. But if Ota's testimony is true, the polar bear had the kitchen knife. Exactly. The polar bear had the Maybe kitchen knife. Taken off so how did the polar bear get the kitchen knife? At the Femisto parking lot? Whatever. We can think about it later. You said you had How did points. Iris do it, though? Yeah, what's the other one? I have learned new information. More thorough autopsy results of Renju's body have revealed something. An object in his An intestines. An object in Renju's An intestines! Object. A clump of organic matter. Because it was partially digested, it took significant time to analyze. Well, what was it? Shoko Nadami's eyeball. We're going to end there. <laughs> Thank you all for joining my stream. I think that's a great place to stop. Um, <laughs> ew. <laughs> um, I'm going to be streaming this tomorrow. We're still catching up with a lot of the stuff that's going on. So that way we will be all caught up with this game. So that way we will be prepared when the sequel comes out on Friday. Um, yup. The plot thickens for sure. Um, who's the freaking killer? Why did Renju eat Shoko, his ex-wife's eyeball? What is Iris doing with the, with the knife? And why did she have her eye missing? Who killed So Sejima? But So Sejima was the killer in Mizuki's route. Uh, a lot of things are happening. Anyways, thank you all for joining. I appreciate it. Um, I will be play I will be streaming tomorrow night as well. So let's um reconvene reconvene the wow. We will meet here tomorrow. It will probably uh what what do I have on my timeline here? Um, it will probably be anywhere around 7 or 8 that I will start my stream tomorrow. So, be there for that. Um, anyways. Uh, thank you all for being here. And, uh, I'll see you all tomorrow.